Do, 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 do. <risa> hey everyone. Uy, saludando primera. Claro. Hey everyone. Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? Hoy es martes, martes de español. This is uh, Spanish Tuesday. Um, we're going to do a painting of Fer today again. I had um, a really nice painting experience yesterday. So I want to see if I can keep that going. Maybe maybe I paint Fer today, today and it's terrible because uh, that happens also. But I want to see if I can make another painting. Um, what we're going to do today, like yesterday, we were working on a horizontal composition. Today, it's going to be vertical. So I'm going to try to activate like a swooping um, composition, like a swooping gesture in the uh, vertical composition. And um, I want to make something with the collar of the shirt she has on. So she has this kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know enough about clothes, but... Um, she has she has this really nice kind of uh, again lost for words, <laughs> but um it it feels like how would you say it how would you characterize like ruffled, it ruffled maybe 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 like it's um, like a ruffled lace maybe maybe thank you thank you so much so <laughs> you're this welcome. is you're amazing um yeah so what Danny said and um. And that shape is actually the one that in, that really really interests me. So I don't know if um, if I'm gonna give this bit of um, these bits of shapes um, a higher priority than the actual portrait. The actual portrait, I think, it's super sweet, and there's a a very nice kind of um, sloping gesture that uh, I'm gonna try to get. And she's like right next to to um, the edge almost. So it's going to be nice that if she if it feels like she's um, kind of leaning against the edge. So let's see if we can go down and maybe maybe let's give that a little bit of priority the um, collar um, because I wanted to do initially. I was just scribbling before we started. And um, you know how yesterday I said that my go-to is just making a head just slightly bigger, um, just because I want to enjoy painting that portrait. I was slowly kind of blocking in, just kind of lightly scribbling, and I realized, wow, that's that's too big. And if um, if I want to answer to these shapes being a little more important, then uh, that portrait has to be a lot smaller. So. Let's see if I'm, if we can make that work. Um, by the way, Danny is super traumatized. Oh yeah, no. Because she was closing the uh, blinds that we have, um, kind of like in our living room slash. We have an open kitchen, kitchen so yeah. yeah. And we have one window that doesn't have any blinds, and um, and. It's happened to me, I I mean, in my life that I can remember, like three times while I've been working. But it never happened it's to It's never me, happened to Danny, ever. but a pigeon just smashed into the window. I was and looking I was trying to, to tell the window her that, yeah, I while was... closing the, how, how is it called? Blinds. The yeah. blinds, yeah. And she just smashed the window, it... so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. so Danny is traumatized. Yeah, it was terrible. And I scared... Nicholas. Yeah, yeah, because her reaction, we were talking about it. Her reaction, I mean, again, you know, it's a super compassionate. Being. It's, a, it's a living being. Um, it was just a very sad accident. But I was telling Danny, we have to work on your reaction. Because her reaction was like, oh my, because she said. No, oh I, sc my. I screamed. Yeah, and she I said, started screaming. And you said, what, what's going on? And I said, it's dead. No, but see. In Spanish, um, if she would have said it, I would have figured, okay, you know, it's not a person. But uh, in Spanish, she said, se mató, se mató. And se mató could mean 
like somebody died like somebody something like somebody died yeah but but i said it's dead no 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 and but then not you it. screamed because and i in said english, the pigeon the, yeah she's no that and was i told terrible. her okay we got to work on this because no, but it you got to say terrible. first the pigeon this is the important part of the equation and then just say oh it's dead and the thing you can't is just start with you know oh se mato like that is terrible that is absolutely terrible <laughs> yeah but she I has to work so on scared that because i mean we don't have how to show you guys but it was like in front of my face i mean she smashed just in my face so it, face so it eat or i well, don't know we don't know if it's a she yeah so, so it smashed just in my face so yeah it was terrible yeah, she's saying she because it's La Paloma. La Paloma, yeah. It's like feminine in Spanish. Um, but yeah, super sad. But again... No, it was terrible. And it was like five minutes ago. Yeah, it's a sad thing. But her reaction was like tragic. Like there was no... I told her, you know, you can't react. Like if she had a reaction level, she reacted at 10. And that's the, you know, that's as bad as I've seen her react to anything. Yeah, but And it, I told her, we have to start working on that. But I've you never can't seen give something me a 10 like that. I if mean, a pigeon dies. No, I mean, it's a pigeon, again, super no, sad. No, it was super, super hard Super sad. To see. I am with you. Super sad. I mean, and But you can't give me a 10. Of course, I'm going to like, I jumped up. I threw my shoulder again. <laughs> I'm like, I know my shoulder is so me. bad. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. And then she, she she's like, oh, it's a pigeon. I was like, oh, my God, let's start with that. Yeah, no, it was terrible. It was. But again, we have to start working on that. Oh, Atkins, are you okay? What They're happened? saying, hey, all, I'm in the ER with suspected blood clot in leg, so I might not be very active. Oh, dude, no, take care. No, yeah. no. I mean, you're awesome, take, but take care of the, yourself. Yeah. That can be very bad. A, a blood clot anywhere can yeah. be very, very bad. And please let us know Yeah. when you know something Just about take your health. The, take one of those uh, small aspirins. Yeah, that's, that's not good at all. Please take care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. See, Danny, we just very quickly put that pigeon into perspective. No, of course we do, but but I was super scared. Hola, Samu. Hola, Samu. Ah, un cura lecho. Mm. Yeah, so everyone's being super nice to Atkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's uh, that's um. So Atkins says. Haha, ha, I still got to sit here and wait, so the stream is perfect. Thanks, what? guys. They should take care of you quickly. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully it's something else. Um, and um, they can take care of it easily. Yeah, and also the good thing is that you are at the ER right now. So Yeah, you're at the right place. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Good, good. But yeah, if if... Yeah, if that happens, like a one of those um, aspirins, one of those, you know, they're not like super strength aspirin, but because that um, that's a blood thinner, so that's always always good. I mean, I'm not a doctor, yeah, but I, I know mean, as much. I know at that that's the hospital, so maybe. Yeah, 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 but but this is like, like doctors can give. A... Oh yeah, yeah, I'm not a do I'm not giving any medical advice. I mean. Nothing can be cured by an aspirin, but it gives you a chance. It gives you a good chance if you have a, a clot. So, mm. can I make you? A, can I make you? No, that's ask that's, you. Yeah, yeah, that's super. Can I make you suffer? Colombian. That's what you. That's what you did with that. Uh, with that pigeon. Scream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no. Um. Yeah, Danny is um, distraught. Uh, so, wait, Atkins says, I don't want to bring the stream down. All is good. I feel good. So I just 
So just waiting for the dog. Don't mind me. Good eye. Oh. Good eye foe about the aspirin. So. Good info. Oh, okay, okay. I think that's for you, Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'll be back Danny, in a sec. Danny's going to step. I'm going to do a question so you can answer it okay, okay. while I'm gone. While, I, while I'm kind of scribbling through yeah. this. Yeah, so Stu Tony says, Hey, what's your thoughts on starting on a toned ground versus white canvas or paper? Um, They're both very, they feel different. They feel very different. It's not that one is better than the other. Because if you really think about it, a lot of, let's say, um, Renaissance painting that was done in, you know, on top of uh, glue gesso. Glue gesso had to be the brightest, you know, white that you could ever get in a, um, in a ground. And they worked with that white just so that, mm, you know, when that brightness would filter through semi-transparent layers of paint, you would get such beautiful, rich colors. That's why... Uh, when you look at a a high renaissance painting, um, they're usually just incredibly, incredibly beautiful colors. So yeah, you know, painting on top of white does have um, a, a wonderful effect, a very important effect even for the uh, for the painting. Now, having said that, that effect is um, heightened if you if you use, let's say, um, egg tempera or egg oil. Uh, like an egg oil uh, emulsion, or if you're just, you know, um, working with, with very transparent layers with oil paint. So, again, it has its uses, and it's it's absolutely wonderful. Um, having a toned ground is also amazing because it gives you a chance to be far more aware of the native tone and value uh, chroma, hue of everything that you're mixing in your palette and putting it, putting um, on your paint surface, because it'll give you, you know, ideally it's a fairly neutral ground and it'll give you a, a super wide range to judge uh, decisions that you're putting down. So they both have their uses. I feel they're both very, very good, and it ultimately depends on what you want to do with with your work. Um, I'm doing this and I'm not super happy with, uh, with this space that I have. Cause I, I feel like her head is more sunken in. I feel that it has like a, um, like a nicer gesture, maybe like a nicer, um, inclination. So I don't think I'm going to do what we did yesterday where we did a drawing, then a sort of, sort of underpainting with that umber. I don't think we're going to do that. I'm just going to see if I can maybe get my proportions a little bit better. And um, and hopefully, hopefully the uh, changes that I have to make, they're not going to be huge. But I don't think I'm going to follow this that much. Like I'm noticing that that's not going to be super helpful. Um, let's see. Yeah, because I think I can even go bigger than this. If um, if this is my shoulder, then that collar is up here, then it's here, then chin is going to be, it's almost at the same, chin is going to be here. So I can actually make that head just quite bigger, which is going to be cool. So that's good, that's good. So I can kind of follow those same angles, but just make everything just slightly larger here. Mm, that's pretty good. Okay, that's a little bit better, a little bit. But I think we can get close to what I I'm kind of looking for in terms of the proportions of this head and the rest of the body while we while we um while we develop the painting. So I think we're gonna get there. So um, yes. Oh Dima. sorry. No 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 go ahead. Um so Tia was asking 
Does Nicolas give live demo on YouTube every day? And Sven's card uh, was saying, are you doing lives now from the ne for the next time? Um, so we are, yeah, I think we are transitioning to, to live videos and I don't know if we're going to be able to make them every single day, but, um, but we're going to try to make them as we're going to try to make as, as many as we can. But, um, yeah, this has been like, um, like a bit of a pilot, uh, effort to try to see like a, like a beta to try to see if we were, we're going to be able to do this. And um, yeah, it's been working well. So so yes, next year, next year, this is gonna be kind of like the core of, of what we do. We know that some people, for some people, it worked a little bit better to have, um, you know, the, the edited videos. Uh, other people actually really like it because it gives them like a chance to, um, to enjoy company while they're working. And that's pretty cool. You can just kind of like tune in and, you know, will be your company while you work or you paint or you sculpt or you draw or whatever job you have that kind of allows you to listen to, uh, to YouTube. But, um, but yeah, so we are, we're happy to, to, um, we're happy to make an effort to, to try and satisfy kind of like everything or we'd happy to try. Yeah, it, it, it is actually, it's going to be an effort. It's always like, that that's our goal, but we know it's going to be difficult to try and bring, you know, maybe the people that were super happy with, um, edited videos to bring them over to, to this specific, like time where we're going to be, uh, painting live, you know, that's a big ask and, and we know it, we know it, but, um, as we said, uh, you know, it just, it just works so, so much better for us in terms of, um, of the time that we can devote to, uh, to the videos because the, um, uh, sadly, well, not sadly, but it's just a reality, but the doing it the other way, most of our efforts went into audio editing and video editing and, and just making sure that we could upload things on time. And it was just a, a bunch of stuff that, you know, was sort of exogenous to the, um, to the fact that we were painting. So, yeah, so we're going to see we're going to see if we can balance that out. Again, we know that it's um it's there's there's bound to be some transitioning and um and some people were probably happier with what we were doing before, but that's why that you know, we actually had set like a finite amount of time for the project also because we realized, you know, maybe we have to change things and um and this is probably one of the things that that was um that was bound to happen so so yeah yeah so tia was saying great more demos more fun oh excellent excellent um miguel v vega dice ya nada de español ningún día de la semana eh, sí miguel la idea es que pues ahorita que estamos haciendo las transmisiones en vivo ya no va a ser solamente martes de español sino que Todas las veces que hagamos transmisión, eh, estamos abiertos a responder preguntas en español o en inglés. Entonces, creo que es aún más chévere así. Ayer hubo un, una muy buena porción... <risa> de debate. Eh, sí, sí, sí. En español. En español. De debate sobre cultura latinoamericana, pero no sí. volvamos a eso, Nicolás. Me rajé, pero, <risa> pero sí, sí, sí. Eh, so, Callum says... Hey all, how's your day been? Tried to paint the eyes this evening. It's been a nightmare. They look <laughs> super staring and and can just hear Nicolas' words echoing. Definitely a mistake. Any advice for saving them? Um, can we can we see them? Do, would you mind sending them over? Yeah, like an update. Because remember yeah. that we we seen Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. them yesterday. By the way, I, I was like, yeah, I can't, for some reason, for some paintings, it works when I have that drawing and for other, you know, paintings, I, I start to get a feeling like I'm, you know, um, I am just painting myself like into a, a corner. So I don't like that feeling. And, um, 
much rather just start painting then and, and then kind of figure out my drawing as I go along. And no medium today. So we used yesterday medium because we were um, doing that sort of thin underpainting. But for today, no, we're going to do without. So it's going to feel a little bit different, a little bit rougher. It ends up feeling, but um, there should be no, no, um, uh, not, there shouldn't be any super, super, you know, big differences, like notable differences in terms of like the uh, essence of the painting. Hopefully we can maintain that. So to Tony was saying, would you guys ever do a live chat with George Pratt? Oh, um, I, George invited me to one of his classes and I had a, um, demo. No. Oh yeah. 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 Remember? Yeah. 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 yeah it was a demo and a talk. So yeah. pretty much what I'm doing right now, <laughs> honestly. Um, but yeah, it's super, super cool. I mean, I absolutely love, uh, George's work. I think he's tremendous and I've often talked about how enemy ace for me was was enormous in my you know upbringing so it was super cool yeah that um at ringling no was it a ringling where was where where does he teach could you could you look for that yeah i know it's in florida maybe i don't yeah and i apologize for not you know remembering that off the uh, top of my head um Yeah, I think this is this is better. Having started like this, this is a lot better, I feel. Mm. Or maybe maybe who who was at you know, the person that was asking, they they probably know. So it says Ringling College of okay. Art. Yeah, so design. it was Ringling. Okay, so I wasn't I, I wasn't wrong about yeah. that. But I was going to say that maybe for the interviews, it's easier for us and for the people that you're interviewing to have a like a, an unedited video because could you imagine this like try to synchronize their time their internet their transmission yeah and usually I'll, i'm gonna be honest here not a lot of people feel comfortable doing something live yeah because they want to think about what they want to say and you know Maybe it's just not a good day, not a good day for them. And maybe something comes out of the mouth that, you know, um, you know, in, in podcasts uh, that are recorded many times, you can just say, Hey, could you, I mean, I, I don't do it. I'm super comfortable just talking live, but I know people that I've, I've even told them, Hey, do you want to do an Instagram live or something like that? And and they say no 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 i'm i'm super not comfortable um with it yeah yeah with that and which is totally fine that's not like cowardice or it's not anything else it's just that they know that they they want time to you know think about what they are going to say and um and unfortunately um you know the an, an instagram live or um uh, a live interview doesn't allow, doesn't allow you to have that time. You know, it's always like hot takes and, um, and maybe questions can be very difficult to answer. Maybe you walk into questions that are very, very difficult to answer. So, yeah, I remember when I was talking to Ruprecht, mm -hmm. we, we kind of, in one moment, I, I kind of hinted at the, um, at the idea of, you know, like are there live conversation? No, 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 no. It, it, it was, we were talking, but, um, I, I asked him about, do you, do you believe, or I kind of hinted at that. Do you believe that there are certain things that we shouldn't paint? And he was like, whoa, that's, you know, that is like a bigger conversation. That's yeah. a very tough conversation. And he was like, we could be talking here for, you know, for many, many hours, days, and we and really okay. wouldn't I mean, be able to to answer that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's totally fine. Yeah. So I think that maybe if next year um you keep doing like that sort of um a conversation with yeah segment of our channel, um that would be edited videos. So 
Yeah. Oh yeah, those we would have to um, we would have to edit the audio. Yeah. But I know that audio in YouTube, well, it's not super. <laughs> I mean, nobody would watch uh, that video, and um, so we we would probably have to do uh, paintings for that week, yeah. and then Danny would just edit the. Uh, the um the painting of those paintings you know yeah like the, the like the interviews that we've yeah, done yeah yeah so um so daniel was asking on what surface material do you recommend to start learning to paint eh, presupuesto sudamericano ah uh, y será que contestó en español o en no en sé inglés? Mm. Eh, en... Voy a contestar en español sí, por, sí. Si, por si de pronto es un poquito más... Eh, no, digo, no digo que sea como más cercano a nuestra experiencia, pero pues yo he tenido... Pues he, ten, he compartido muchísimos momentos con estudiantes, con pintores jóvenes que pues no tienen un presupuesto grande y, y que tratan de buscar como la, la mejor alternativa y la que se acomode a las posibilidades que tienen, entonces pues eso nunca me ha, eh, y nunca me molestó cuando estaba dando la clase, entonces, eh, no, la verdad, yo creo que acá, por ejemplo, en, en Colombia es súper económico comprar MDF, que, sí. o sea, si, si uno puede comprar una, un, una lámina de MDF, cortarla y la puede uno mandar cortar, o pues si uno tiene herramientas, eh, pues cortarla uno, eh, bueno, también depende del formato en el que quiera pintar, ¿no? Sí, sí, pero alguien comenzando yo, pues bueno, ahí sí yo sería un poco más, eh, digamos, determinante con, con las... Ay, de pronto es fer. Como determinante con, con lo que eh, sugeriría y es que yo sí creo que toca pintar en un formato más pequeño. Tocaría comenzar a pintar en un formato mucho más pequeño. Eh, yo creo que comenzar a pintar en grande es súper complejo. Eh, entonces, sí sugeriría que... Mmm, sí, sí sugeriría que es, es mucho, mucho más como, como importante también el que uno se dé la posibilidad de hacer más pinturas que menos mmm, para aprender. Eh, y pues que tampoco sea una superficie que uno empiece a entenderla como sagrada, eh, eso también es súper importante. Porque es que si uno compra una tela súper bonita y, y uno está pagando un poco tonón de plata por, por, eh, por ese soporte, por ese sustrato, pues uno le va a tener en última susto a embarrarla encima, a hacer como un trabajo, pues no sé, normal encima, un esfuerzo que digamos... Mmm, un esfuerzo que signifique mm, el, eh, eh, y que se relacione con el momento en el que uno se encuentra. Y pues si uno no, no está hasta ahora comenzando a pintar, pues también uno para qué quiere eh, eh, darse durísimo mientras pinta sobre, sobre un soporte, sobre un sustrato que, que le costó plata a uno y que de pronto lo está condicionando. Entonces, sí, yo sugeriría... Una, una tabla, si, si quiere aprender a pintar como tradicionalmente, pues también eh, mirar cómo la puede eh, imprimar, cómo la puede preparar, con, honestamente con, con cola, con cola piscis, que es como una cola de, de pescado, eh, y, con, y con un gesso acrílico más o menos decente, eso, con esas dos cosas ya se puede hacer muchísimo. Entonces... Yo diría eso, una tela, una tabla, perdón, una tabla bien económica y más bien cómo concentrarse en cómo imprimarla, cómo aprender a imprimarla bien. Eh, yo creo que eso es como lo más importante. Dime. ¿En cuánto llega Fer? Fer debe llegar, si es que aquí toca hacer malabares. Ah, no, Samu, si me esperas y si me puedes ayudar, te agradecería, Samu. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Eh, no, pero puede salir, Samu. Sí, 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 porque no está ni cerca. Gracias, Samu. Qué pena, qué pena. Aquí cuestiones familiares de que Samu, Samu nos ayuda eh, bajando y recogiendo a Fer cuando llegue del colegio. No, y le tocó devolverse porque habían dado mal las vueltas de él. Ah, no, bueno. Pero bueno. 
Pero bueno, sí, entonces tabla, una tabla. Le diría, le diría, que, eh, eh, ¿sabes cómo se llamaba la persona? Discúlpame. Daniel. Es que, Daniel, le diría que puede, puede trabajar en papel, pero es que, por ejemplo, en mis talleres hay veces yo le sugiero eso a la gente, yo nunca pongo a la gente a trabajar como yo, porque pues, se me hace como ridículo eh, forzar a, a, a personas a hacer lo mismo. Eh, pero hay mucha gente que es curiosa y dice, no, yo quiero probar cómo se siente eh, trabajar aquí encima. Y se ponen a trabajar y detestan, detestan trabajar sobre papel. O sea, eh, hacen una pintura y dicen, bueno, no, esto no es para mí claramente. Entonces, eh, sí, además creo que no es tan fácil, si les soy sincero. Yo, yo también sugeriría primero tener una experiencia más tradicional de pintura. Y, o sea, preparando sobre un soporte digamos, más o menos tradicional y que sería como el MDF que está reemplazando a, a una madera eh, y tratar de imprimarlo pues como siguiendo eh, eh, siguiendo la, la manera como hemos imprimado durante siglos. Entonces, sí, yo, yo le diría maderitas, MDFs eh, o triplex o aglomerados, lo que pueda conseguir y más bien trate de darles como una buena imprimación y listos. ¿Y qué opinas en lona costeña? Ah, también. También creo sí, que si sí, quiere sí. algo parecido al lienzo. Sí, sí, sí. Como me dicen a mí, lona costeña, creo que eso ya no se consigue o no es tan fácil de conseguir. No, yo... Creo que la que se la consigue se llama lona leona. Ah, lona leona, sí. que es distinta a la lona costeña. Bueno, a mí yo eso siempre me... compré lona a mí, costeña. A mí eso me enseñaban en todos los sitios que... Lo que pasa es que le dan a uno, o sea, obviamente ya saben que uno está preguntando por, por algodón y que se parezca a esa lona. Pero yo me acuerdo que ahí en el hachazo me decían como, no, lona, lona costeña ya es como difícil, pero hay lona leona. Que al final da la misma, o sea, honestamente es muy, muy parecido. Sí, y es, es buen soporte y, sí, pero y de no nuevo, es... eh, si lo va a hacer, pues, pues se puede echar solo gesso encima y... Ya, o sea, se puede salir de ese problema así súper rápido dándole la imprimación. Eh, pero sería chévere que le echara cola también, una solución de cola. Y puede ir, no tiene que conseguir cola de conejo porque eso es re costoso, pero puede ir a una tienda de químicos a conseguir cola piscis, a cualquier como distribuidora de, de, de insumos químicos que haya. Yo no sé en dónde estará Daniel, si está aquí en Colombia. De no, pronto se dijo Lona no Costeña. Sé. Sí. No, yo dije Lona Costeña. Ah, ¿tú? Yo te estaba diciendo. Ah, yo pensaba que él estaba. No, 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 yo esa... estaba sugiriendo que sí. Ah, sí, que sí. sí quería una no. experiencia similar al sí, lienzo. Sí, sí, Lona Pero costeña. nos toca decirlo, no, nos toca decir algodón, porque es que Lona Costeña creo que es nuestra. Es ah, solo colombiana. Sí. Sí, pues yo sí. creo. Sí. Sí, suena. Um, so, Callum, just send me an update yes. of the painting. Yes, let's look at the eyes. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, the drawing seems to be in the right spot. Um, so I think your drawing is right. They're just like of a very light value. I think they're they're a little too light. But that's that's like nothing. That's you're there. No, no, no. That's pretty good, dude. That's actually not bad at all. I thought it was far worse from what you were making it sound. Um. So Ananias is. Hey guys, Brianna here. <laughs> Anyways, I have a question for you guys. Uh, sometimes even if I have a solid drawing, when I start on applying paints, the whole drawing I did is lost. How do I keep the integrity? Thanks. Yeah, but you see, I don't know if you saw the drawing that I had a couple of minutes ago, and that drawing was not going to help me. And I feel that this is a far better drawing, far, far better drawing. And I'm not, you know, I wasn't really dependent on that drawing, that underdrawing that I had down there for doing this drawing. So I know that I'm doing some weird things, but I actually like it. I don't mind it. The fact that she's, um, I'm so sensitive to the fact that she's leaning on the top of her head and that her hair is making it feel like the, the top of her head is kind of squishing. I'm so sensitive to that that I can't not see it. Um, so I think I'm pushing that 
kind of elongated feeling because that that I mean I naturally do that. Um, I always I'm I'm always very aware, like highly aware that I that I it is something that I usually do. So if I do it, I want to be careful to not um, overdo it or at least have a good reason to do it. And hopefully that's uh, a good justification to do. Wow, that's way too dark. That's a good justification to do it. So, but yeah, so it's kind of strange because sometimes we can have a very, very tight, very nice underdrawing and then we completely obliterate it. Or we can have a nothing drawing like I had underneath and realize, no, I have to reach my drawing through painting. So I guess it's just a reminder that regardless of how well you've done that drawing, you're still going to have to search for it while you're painting. Um, you're still not off the hook. Like that is your responsibility while you're painting. That's going to always be re your responsibility. So maybe that's a, it's a good thing. That's a good reminder. Santiago Uribe dice, Nico, como pintor y además bogotano, ¿qué opinión te merece la obra de Luis Caballero? Uy, lo, lo amo con todo mi, mi ser. Sí, es como de los artistas más grandes que ha tenido la historia de Colombia. Pues un artista curioso porque estuvo tanto tiempo eh, por fuera y tenía como una sensibilidad además europea. Eh, él fue profe de mi mamá en los Andes, entonces chévere. Eh, mi mamá lo conoció mucho. Eh, sí, no, es un monstruo. Pues es toda una vida dedicada, pues una vida corta, desafortunadamente, desafortunadamente, muy triste la vida de él. Pero es una vida mm, corta, dedicada enteramente al, al dibujo. Es como pues, si uno pudiera hacer un paralelo, una vida relativamente corta, dedicada al dibujo, fue también Chile. ¿A qué edad murió Chile? Ni ya te digo, buscas. claro. Sí. Porque, o sea, no, no creo estar exagerando. Chile murió joven. Eh, ya te digo. Sí, pero entonces, eh, lo que lo hace pensar a uno que, pues, no, no importa. Digamos que ese, ese tiempo no importa. 28. ¿Sí? ¿Qué? ¿28, en serio? Sí. Yo de... pensé que era más. No, ¿Segura? de 1890 sí. a 1918. No. Sí, acá dice. Mira, 28 born fue junio Chile? 12 de 1890, died octubre 31 de 1918. O sea, 28, ¿28? Años. Ah, no, no, no. No, yo pensé que había sido un poco más. Uy, yo también. Sí, no. Uy, Dios. Sí, es una barbaridad, pero ahí uno, uno se da cuenta. O sea, mi punto era que, que, que pues una, una vida corta dedicada al dibujo puede ser una cosa extraordinaria. O sea, cuando uno la ve, cuando uno ve los resultados de, de esa um, devoción hacia el dibujo y hacia el cuerpo, que en ambos casos, en ambos casos era, era digamos, esa, esa constante en la vida de los dos. Eh, Uy, qué, qué cosas tan increíbles la que, las que eso produce. Pues no, no Chile, digamos, era más... Eh, mm, era... Um, la obra de él no solo giraba en torno al cuerpo, porque pues hay unas pinturas de él que son increíbles, unos, eh, unos paisajes que son absolutamente fascinantes, paisajes pues urbanos para esa época y, y, y también paisajes como naturales increíbles, pero y de pronto, y de pronto Caballero sí giró muchísimo más en torno a ese, pues a ese cuerpo sensible. Pero, uy, no, es un monstruo, es un monstruo, o sea, yo muchas veces cuando hablo de él, yo, yo le digo a la gente, pues va a sonar hiperbólico, pero, pero es de los mejores dibujantes de la historia, y hay mucha gente que dice, ay, a ver, a ver, y piensan que, pues, porque es colombiano, uno de pronto está diciendo, ah, no, es que eso es, o sea, obviamente, eh, lo digo porque, porque es un artista local, y pues normalmente todos nosotros, más pasen los artistas eh, latinoamericanos, defendemos como el arte local muchísimo. Pero yo creo que con él, no, él es un artista... Primero que yo no sé, o sea, por más de que hubiera ese, ese, ese subtono eh, eh, que tenía que ver con, con nuestra historia de violencia, 
pues yo creo que la violencia era como el pretexto, honestamente. Yo creo que el cuerpo, el cuerpo sufriente o el cuerpo, no sé, el cuerpo sensible, porque es que no tenía que ser... Yo creo que para él las emociones eran desgarradoras. Cualquier emoción era como desgarradora. O sea, yo no creo que él... Él trataba de hacer un retrato súper sencillo de alguien sentado y parecía como cargado de energía. Entonces yo, yo creo que... Por eso es que digo que, que era una cosa desenfrenada lo que él sentía por, por el cuerpo. Eh, entonces, de pronto no, no lo veo como, ay, sí, ese es, ese es como un artista enteramente colombiano, porque sí tenía, o sea, estaba haciendo alusión a, la, a nuestra violencia, a nuestra historia de violencia. No creo, yo creo que era como más, era muchísimo más, eh, como muchísimo más grande lo que decía, o muchísimo más universal en términos como de... de del ser humano como, no sé, atrapado como en esta, eh, en este pedazo de carne que es el cuerpo sensible. Entonces, no, increíble, increíble. Pero sí, me acuerdo yo muy joven, yo tenía como, ¿cuántos años tendría yo? Como 14, 15, de pronto 15, ¿sí? Cuando él murió. Uy, qué fuerte, sí, qué duro, qué triste, eh, qué triste darse uno cuenta que pues uno de los artistas más grandes eh, eh, tiene un, un final así fuerte como, como triste entonces sí sí so in English I eh, voy a hablar un poquito en inglés de él um, uh, just so that uh, English speakers uh, don't miss what we were talking about mm, somebody asked me about uh, one of the most incredible incredible uh, Colombian artists that we've ever had in our history, which is uh, Luis Caballero. And Danny went off, um, Danny stepped out uh, just a little for, for a second, but uh, I'll ask Danny to, um, to link uh, his name for people that don't know him, or maybe somebody could link um, his name or, or just uh, write their name, write his name so that people... Um, I'm back to type it. I'm gone again. So. No, no, no. Don't worry. Somebody, somebody else could have done that. Don't worry. Don't worry, Danny. Go, go, There you go. Go do your thing. Go, go, go. Um, and uh, I was saying how, you know, it's it's one of those remarkable examples of somebody who devoted his life, and it was a short life. And I was actually saying how it was comparable to um, Chile's life. And I didn't have this number in my head when I uh, when I said that, but I didn't realize that Sheila died at 28, which is absolutely crazy. Because I knew he had died when he was young, but not that young. I mean, that's that's absurd. Um, and now, I mean, if you look at everything he did on that short amount of time, Wow. I mean, that is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous what he was able to accomplish in such a small amount of time. It's absurd almost. But I, I kind of always feel the geniuses, they they have to be on this earth for a you know shorter amount of time than us, you know, us regular people. Um, that's just how things work. So again, very sad, but... Um, But Caballero died of AIDS in 1990. I don't know. I mean, off the top of my head, again, I'm going to ask Danny to look for that. But um, maybe 94, 93, maybe. Danny, when... He... Yeah, I'm going to look. Um... Danny's just walking around like a chicken, like a headless chicken. So, 1995. Okay. So, no, so I was a little bit older. Um, when he passed away, but still very, very impactful. My, and my mother, for my mother, it was it was also super, super sad because uh, he was uh, her teacher while she was in uh, in college in art school. So, so yeah, it's 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 just really it's incredible how these lives can be um, so intense that it's almost like impossible. When I think about it, it's almost like impossible for them to live for a long time. It just doesn't doesn't make sense, you know. They they just have to be. Um, it just has to feel like they're passing by very very quickly. But you know the the little moment, the little time that they are able to share with us, it's just extraordinary. I mean the the amount of knowledge and experience that they leave behind is is just something so so impressive. 
Um, so yeah, so I th I think that that was the case with with Caravaggio, uh, a life devoted to to the body, mostly the male body, which is which is amazing. I think that you know uh, in art we usually speak about the male gaze when um, when depicting women. You know that's that's what we uh, depictions of women and and kind of like you know er eroticized or sexualized uh, depictions of women. It's just, you know, what almost every single museum is filled, is like absolutely full of. And and that's just the reality of, of painting and image making before the uh, 20th century. That That's just how it was. Um, but uh, but it's, it's really beautiful to see this um, depiction of a male body, a, a, you know, beautifully strong male body, but also full of desire. I think that when he was painting, drawing, um, the male body, it was just like pure desire. Like, you know, uh, um, there, there was nothing like untethered desire. Um, and it's amazing. It's amazing because I, I used to think when I was younger and I still kind of believe that, but I remember that feeling I had when I was younger, I was looking at his work saying, I, I love the way he depicts the male body. But I don't think I'll ever be able to do what he does because I just don't look at it the same way. You know, he, when he was drawing um, one of his models, um, I mean, I, you could totally get the feeling that he was just, he, he just wanted the drawing to end so that he could just, you know, jump on top of his model. That is literally like the feeling that you get with one of the one of those drawings. It's it's incredible, and I always felt like that's not me. I don't have that desire, and that's always going to be, you know, what separates you know his his drawings from mine. When I when I see you know the male body, like I'll see a ton of structure, and I'll want to push form, but you know, and I can see. And I can see sexuality in it, and I can see eroticism in it, but I, it wasn't just like this animal behavior that he had. That was so amazing. It was so incredible. So there's certainly things that you could only tap if that desire is there. Um, so it was very, very important for me to, I remember when I was younger, to realize yeah, it's not really just about knowing how to draw. It's not really, you know, just about saying, hey, I could draw, you know, there's this model in front of me and I could draw them and, and that's about it. No, there was also like this this human aspect to drawing that I was, you know, when I was younger, I, I just wasn't aware of it, where you manifest, you know, in your drawings, you, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, what you are, um, what is... Uh, ignited once you see a model posing, all of those things show up in your drawing. And and I also realized that I was never going to be able to, um, to, you know, to get that with one of my drawings. As much as I wanted to draw um, a male torso, I just, I was never going to be able to, to achieve the things that he achieved. And, and that's, pretty amazing that's actually really really amazing and the bad thing about this if i can keep talking about him cuz i i would gladly talk about him for you know the remaining hours but the the bad thing about this is that um there used to be a moment where i you know i was so attracted to a certain model's body like let's say if if you're totally connect with a male's um with a, a male model's body and I wanted to do a torso, and um, in my mind, it was just like, no, that's that's what Caballero did. Like that doesn't belong to you. Like you can't, and you will never be able to do it as good as as he did. So it's actually kind of sad because it limits you in many ways. Because it, it starts to you start to convince yourself that certain things that are off limits, or that maybe you can't, or you will never depict them as well as they did, and um, and that's also not quite right. I feel that, you know, it took me a while to realize, no, 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 I can try and do this my own way. Like, I don't have to think that I'm competing with one of his um, drawings or paintings every time I, I paint the same subject matter. Subject matters don't belong to us. 
you know, as much as we we are mm, sort of educated to understand that certain subject matters, like we can associate certain subject matter with a particular artist, they don't belong to us. They don't belong to them. They don't belong to anybody. They they just borrowed them for for a little bit, and and they you know did a you know a work or a, or a reflection of of painting with those with the aid of those subject matters. Now that may be different if if I say you know the subject matter is just um, um, absolutely personal, like you know I am painting fed. So fed for somebody else to paint fed would be weird, not weird in the sense that you're not allowed to. No, anyone can paint fed. It's just that I would much rather say, well, just I'm not painting fed. I'm painting a relationship that I have with this kind of younger soul. Um, it just happens to be my daughter. But um, but maybe if that's what interests you, then you know you can paint your family or you can paint you know if that's the same way you feel about any loved one. Um, then that could be, you know, that could be what you get from from a painting that that you see somebody where you see somebody painting, you know, their daughter or their son or their um, their partner. Uh, but it doesn't have to be. But it doesn't mean that you know that that belongs to them either. Like that's that's not the case. Um, so it took me a while to to grant me the possibility. I feel to say, no, I can paint, you know, I can try and paint a, a male body and, and not make it feel referential to his. Um, very tough, but, uh, but it was a, it, it's a good exercise, I feel. So I'm sorry, so if you guys don't, hopefully, I don't know if Danny, if you see, what? Did, um, the comment? did anyone, um, or were you able to put his name in the uh, comments? Yeah, 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 so that I people, wrote yeah. Luis Caballero. Okay, it's super sad because um, on in Google, you know, there's so few. You know, I mean, in in terms of in Google terms, there is very few. There are very few images of him. Very few like good high res images of his work. Um, so yeah, but if you if you travel to Bogota, mm, there's a few in the um, in el Museo del Banco de la República in the Republic Bank Museum. <laughs> that sounds horrible yeah. in English. Yeah, it sounds terrible. Um, but there's a there's a few few of his works there that'll give you like a, a nice idea of the enormous artist that he was. But anyways, I profess my love. I would profess my love for him any day because I just think he's one of the, if not the best, um, I think, Colombian artist. Yeah, and I was looking in the. Museo del Banco de la República. Yeah. They have, um, like, images yeah, but of so, his work. Yeah. Uh, they're not the best, but, I mean, if I you know. if you want to go watch yeah. them, yeah, 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 they are there. That's so. so sad. That museum, the data, the... But, I mean, they bank. have quite a Actually, lot. that's a lot. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, I hadn't checked. Um, yeah, I was I saying it's it not that bad. Maybe no. they just... And what, open, open one of them, any of, like... So, maybe this one. Let me one. see. Oh no! Yeah. Wait, wait. Okay, no, that's not bad. No, that's good. I mean, it's one of those zoomables that have like a, uh, like a um, lupa. ¿Cómo se dice? Eh. Magnifying glass, like a little magnifying glass, which I hate. Just give us, just give us the images. You know, come on. No, but just but so... it's good. I mean, at least it's there because yeah, yeah, yeah. before they something? weren't. I was going to copy oh, okay. paste cool, cool, cool. the um, cool, 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 <laughs> cool, cool, cool. The link, so. Mm. Yeah, and they have 291 oh, images, dude, no, so that's, that's good. I take it back. That's yeah, awesome, yeah, yeah. then. Yeah. Um, so, your mom said, Luis Caballero, a great artist ever. He's drawing so strong and extraordinary. I was so lucky. He was with us for almost six years in Andes University. There we go. So my mother uh, sharing her uh, her story. Yeah. Mm. And my aunt knew him well, too. So. Um, so Anania was saying reminds me of Basquiat. Um, 
Um, so I don't know. You should you you could try to um maybe where try to explain because I would love to hear why it reminds like he reminds you of Basquiat. In my mind, they're quite different. If I have to be honest, um, but I would love to hear why do you feel you know he reminds you of Basquiat. To me, he's like. A mix of bacon and Jericho, like Rafter de Medusa meets, you know, Francis Bacon. Mm, so Sam L Luther was mm -hmm. asking, is Chile's objectification and sexualis sexualization the male figure considered the male gaze? Um... Of the male figure, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if he would fall. I mean, for sure, there's sexuality in his drawings, for sure. But um, but I think he treated. Do you, Danny? Would you say that his drawings, like, I think he treated sexuality both, like in his self portraits and yeah, it, with his female, um, models and 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 drawings of his, of his sister, the yeah. drawings of um of um, his neighbor, um. I don't I don't I don't feel like there's a difference between male and female yeah. if I have to be super super honest. Um you could totally see that difference, you know, in in renaissance painting, baroque painting, um uh romantic like romanticism for sure, uh um neoclassicism for sure, uh, all throughout the 19th century for sure, like academic painting, oh my god, for sure, of course it's a it's a male gaze. Um But I don't know. I don't think Chile would fit into that, if I have to be honest. I, I just think, yes, it's a very sexualized, you know, a, there, there's a sexual awareness of, of the, the subject matter, I would say. But um, I don't know if I would, I would see a difference between male and female, yeah. the male and female I depictions. Even. No. Mm. Again, that's, that's my, you know, the way I see it, but I... I don't think there is there is a you know big difference. Oh, so Ananya was saying that it was um similar to Basquiat, not his art, but okay. because he died at a young age. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah like I was saying those genius because Basquiat was a genius also. Yeah. Um just artists that are just you know their their life just seems to not make sense in a in a kind of larger span of time so it's pretty amazing um that was the case also with uh fortuni could you could you look uh danny because i know it's 30 something but mariano fortuni um how old was he wait, 30 something so... what There's a son. There's two. So he is Mariano Fortuny Marsal, and his son is also yeah, because Mariano it says Fortuny. 77 years. No, so no, no. That's nope. his son. Yeah, that's his son. Um, wait, so. Danny. Wait a minute. Whipping out the cal calculator. I have yeah. it on a tab in the computer if you want. Tell me, and I'm, I, I think I'm good okay. with. Um, no, no, no. Um. It's like 30 something, I feel. No, but I don't find it. No? Let me see. Let me. No. Because it's because I'm looking Mariano Fortuny artist and it's showing me a no. fashion design. Yeah, yeah, that was his son. Uh so, so he was 38 to 74. So he was um 36 years. Th what? 36 years old. Woo. 35 years old, maybe. No, 36. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so depressing. Yeah. But I didn't know that Chile was um, yeah, I didn't reach. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I didn't have that in my yeah. in my head. Yeah, I thought it, I thought he, he had reached 30. Because I know that Basquiat was super young, but I didn't know about uh, Chile. Yeah. Mm. Tragic. Yeah. Uh, Gabriel Pozo dice, otro que murió joven, ¿qué piensan de Basile? 
¿Sí se pronuncia así? ¿Poco? ¿Cuál? ¿Cómo? Frederic Basile. Ah, Basile, el, el pintor eh, francés. Sí. Sí, pero no, no lo tengo como, como tan referenciado que murió tan joven, ¿no? Y eh... le creo, obviamente. A... Sí, 21 años. ¿What? ¿Sí? sí. No, ¿pero qué? 29 años. Ah. 29, sí. Sí, no, 21, casi era imposible. Sí. Sí, Uy. Basquiat, 27 también creo, 28. Mm. Oye, ¿y de qué murió? ¿Quién? Eh, Basil. Eh, a ver. Tuberculosis, ellos todos se morían como de tuberculosis. Uh... Era como tuberculosis o sífilis, todos los hombres. O, o, o iban a la guerra o se morían en... Dice... The immediate cause of death was a German bullet. Ah, ¿ves? Which struck Basile... Basile or Basile? Pues es que es francés. Basile debe ser. During the Franco-Prussian War. Sí, ah, bueno, guerra entonces también. Yeah. Sí, sí, sí. Um... Sí, sí, eh, Gabriel Pozo estaba diciendo en la guerra. Sí, sí. Sí. Um... No sabía. Uf, qué duro. Lo que pasa, Gabriel, es que yo, pues así, súper fan de, de como el impresionismo, postimpresionismo así, eh, francés, eh, no soy tanto, le soy súper sincero. Eh, o sea, obviamente reconozco todo el, el impacto grandísimo que tuvo sobre, sobre toda la cultura occidental, pero así que yo sea súper, súper fan, no, no mucho. Eh, Kobe dice tengo pensado hacer un dibujo digital de un paisaje tenebroso mm -hmm. ¿me recomiendas una paleta de colores monográfica o Mono, de... monocromática monocromática sí. o de dos colores complementarios ¿y qué, qué quiere decir eso? Ese, es que tengo curiosidad ¿Con, o lo sea, mono, es como... ¿Con lo de monográfico? No, 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 no. No, porque creo que, que debe ser monocromático. monocromático. Uh -huh. Pero no, 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 me da más curiosidad eh, la descripción del paisaje. ¿Cómo ah, lo o sea, eh, paisaje tenebroso. Sí, será, o sea, así tenebrismo como, o sea, como un Goya o un Fuseli o, o no sé. O como um, Arnold Bocklin, más o menos, como una cosa así simbolista, o ¿cómo será? Tengo curiosidad. Bueno, te aviso si nos responde. Me avisas. Te aviso. <risa> eh, mm, so, Tia was asking, ¿Does Nicolás do landscape painting? I do, I'm not great at it. And I'm saying I'm not great at it because I don't want to say I'm not good at it. <risa> Um, no, it, it doesn't come super naturally to me, if I have to be honest. Um, I, I, you know what I sometimes wish that I was stuck somewhere for, you know, maybe two years and, um, there was nobody there and I can't paint myself, um, no mirrors, no nothing. And I just have this kind of organic, natural desire to paint, um, to paint nature Uh, and I, it, it's kind of pathetic to, to say that I need those conditions in order to paint nature. Um, but I think I know myself and I just, it would have to be that extreme for me to say, yeah, I really want to do this. Or I would have to just seek it like as a, as a personal thing to say, you know what, I'm going on this, um, I'm going to disconnect myself and I'm going to go to, you know, around whatever you know, countries or, you know, around these places uh, here in Colombia. And all I want to do is is maybe, or not even paint. Maybe I would love for painting to be just, again, like this natural inclination that I would feel, uh, but nothing so, nothing imposed. Not, not like trying to do um, uh, landscapes or, or trying to do plein air just because I feel that that's what you should do to, be a painter like if you're a painter you should be able to do all those things um no i don't want to feel any of that i, I feel that those are 
like self-imposed um things that we think should be like that 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 you know they should be part of every painter um i don't feel i don't like to feel that pressure or i don't like to feel that there's a an obligation in any way so i much rather try to understand myself and say um this probably will happen organically if these variables if i'm surrounded by these variables so maybe in the future like i'll just disconnect for a bit and i'll travel and maybe that'll happen but yeah but for now i would say that when i do them i mean they're genuine but they also feel they're not forced i don't want to um describe them as forced but i want to say that i probably don't don't or i probably lack the same level of connection that i do with with other you know subject matter so i feel like i'm pushing myself to do something but it just doesn't come naturally so yeah again if i'm being super super honest and i'm hope i hope that you guys can tell that i am so uh rosaline says egon Schiele's landscapes surprise oh, me always tremendous. most they of are. us think of his figures first yeah they are tremendous yeah I've often, I think there's a video where I say that he was your favorite, my landscape favorite landscape painter. painter. Yeah. 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 I think the, the, uh, his landscapes are absolutely amazing. Um, Kobe dice monochromatica, algo gore. Gore. Pero así como, como Santiago Caruso, si es Santiago Caruso, no el, sé. El, el ilustrador. Tú sabes que él fue a la Javeriana? Él, él estuvo. No sabía. Sí, él estuvo, no me acuerdo cuándo, no me acuerdo, pero él estuvo en algún momento ahí en la Javeriana. Lo ¿Pero envié. como a un, haciendo no, una charla? No, o... no, pues sí, sí, y creo que hizo como un demo o algo, pero creo que era um, conjunto con el... el eh, ¿La Filbo? Sí, 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 con Fig. ¿No uh -huh. se llama Fig lo de José? Sí, sí pues es Fig. que Fig... Sí, creo... Fig es para la feria, sí, uh -huh. exacto. Eh, pero sí, creo que estaba como invitado paralelo con, con la feria. Eh, bueno, Kobe dice en la composas ah, composición. Ah, mira esto. ¿Qué no pasó? sé qué pasó. <risa> ¿Cuándo? No, tú sí. Ah, con el que tienes en la ah, otra con mano. Con el trapo, mira. Ah, pero a veces es o con el que tienes en la otra mano o con el trapo. Y esto siempre termina en mi saco, en sí. mi cara. Sí, en la mesa, en el piso, <risa> sí. en la puerta. En tu cara. sí. Eh, Kobe dice, en la composición hay un ciervo asesinado uh -huh, uh -huh. y una elfa guardiana del bosque Uy, esto suena... gritando de dolor y venganza en el centro y ambienta... ambientado en un pantano de noche. Uf, casi tu experiencia con la, Ay, no, la chito, paloma hoy. No. Eh, no, pobre paloma. Eh... Chévere, pero y, y la imagen es acerca de, supongo que, la, eh, supongo que es acerca de la casa de animales y como la, la venganza que le quiere dar como este ser de la naturaleza, porque sí suena gore, pero también suena como que uno está esperando que este sea un ser vengador, de pronto, que la naturaleza como que va, va a vengarse un poco, eh, esto, estoy inventándome ya una narrativa o estoy cerquita. Porque, ya que voy, es que si, si esa es como parte de la narrativa, pues no necesariamente tiene que ser súper gore, porque es que si la imagen es re gore, solo está haciendo como énfasis en el hecho de que hay un ciervo muerto. Entonces, todo sí. puede ser súper monocromático, más la sangre roja en el ciervo. Y sí, se vuelve como una imagen súper, súper gráfica. Pero yo ahí no sé si lo importante entonces es el ciervo o es el... Eh, eh, o es el hecho, o es la reacción de ella. Como el dolor que siente ella y, y el que uno diga, uy, este es como un espíritu del bosque que va a vengar um, la muerte injusta de ese, de ese ciervo. Um, Gherkin Guller was saying, hey, Daniel Nicolás, I have a question. Yes. You may not prefer to do nature painting that much but i really dig the nature of this painting oh thank you about subject matter yes i wonder 
Do you always take the, these pictures that you paint with a pose or emotion and an intention in your mind or are these a moment of gaze of how you see your family? No, these are, these are this is just fed um, two days ago. Was it two days ago, Danny, that we were? Yep. Yeah. Saturday? You yeah. were because I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. wasn't there. So this was just at my mother's place. Hence the uh, Christmas decorations already in the background. <laughs> She starts decorating for Christmas around November May. November first. Yeah, no, May, no, no, because maybe. she loves um, uh, Halloween too. Yeah. So she wouldn't miss decorating for Halloween. Yeah. So <laughs> June. Um. But no, this is natural. This is just fair to being fair. Again, I think drama follows her. So she yeah. she doesn't. Um, She's not playing a part. It's just that everything she she's I think she's always aware that she may have a spotlight on her. Oh, and that's also why she is always trying to pose when she's around you. Yeah, I think she's becoming more and more aware, which I don't know if I like because I like how she poses or if I dislike that. I think she's she's always like uh, she turns it up when she's uh, around. So maybe it's a mix of natural and she understand and she after years of me painting her understanding that she's assuming like this role which would be kind of sad i don't force my kids to pose not no, at all no but the thing is that it's with like it goes with her personality right i right, mean right. she's super um i don't know how to say it. like what you were saying like she she loves to think that maybe there's a spotlight yeah I mean, we're making it sound like a diva, like no, 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 diva. no. But she loves no, don't worry. to. I like, think there's to... a diva. There's some some diva quality in her. Yeah, I think too. But I was saying that she loves to um be super conscious of her poses always. Yeah, but that's with us. She'll new. She she won't do that in public though. Mm. No, 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 no. She's super. She's super shy in public. Uh. So. Eh. I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, gi Gilam? Guillaume? Guillaume, maybe? It's como Guillermo? G-U-I-L-L-A-U-M-E Sí, es como Guillaume es Guillermo en francés. Guillaume? Guillaume was saying, what do you think of the over-representation of female nude in art? Do you think we will see more male and find a balance in the future? And after that, they said, hope we're going to see more female gays with the acknowledgement of female artists today. Um, yeah, I think you can I think you can see that right now still. Um, you the, for the, the fact that we are far more aware, far more conscious and and galleries promote them wisely. Also, these amazing, incredible um women painters, I think that we are getting a sense of balance. Um, I just think that it was very obvious that in terms of hierarchy, it, it wasn't just about saying that the, the uh, females that were represented um, were, were done under a male gaze. It's you know, like, think about it. How many times have you read, like, for example, throughout all of the um, 19th century, but that doesn't even it doesn't even um, belong to the 19th century solely this is all throughout you know western history um models were prostitutes because there was no way um at any of those points in time that a woman was going to have a job that was you know that meant taking their clothes off so that another man could paint her so almost every single time you would see a model. It wasn't like nowadays that we understand that a, a model can be a model for um, an institution, for you know an art faculty, or they can work for photographers, for sculptors, for painters. No, no, no. The people that would naturally undress would be you know prostitutes. So there was this idea of this lesser being in front of you that you would just pay to take their clothes off. Many of them, you know, became mistresses of the. Uh, of the painters, that's that's like a constant throughout history. Um, so if you add all those things up, you can kind of start to understand why 
the representation, like the representation of women was, you know, exactly what we got from Western art was, is it's exactly what we see in museums. So, I mean, obviously things have changed. Things have changed for the better. They could be better for sure. Um, uh, gallery rosters are far more balanced. Um, nowadays there's, um, I think that there's, I don't want to call it an ism, but you can kind of sense it in, in painting. There is, uh, for example, the uh, painters that we like, um, Anthony Cudahy, um, and Doran Lamberg, yeah. they're calling them, um, again, I don't like names, but, um, 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 que uh, queer intimists. So queer intimism. And I think it's, it's, I mean, it's a, it's just a dumb name, but, um, I think essentially it's pointing to the fact that we, you know, people are are far more comfortable with sharing their sexuality, um, and uh, and it's just eye opening. It's refreshing. It's fascinating. Um, I'm I'm a huge fan of that sort of work. I, I know Danny is too. Yeah. So so yeah. So we are you know we are kind of putting weight on that balance that was incredibly unbalanced for years. A lot of people feel it's unfair that a lot of that weight has to be put on the other side. But I always say, like, the, I mean, these were people that were neglected for centuries. How can we not, like, put, you know, weight on the other side of this balance so that we can, you know, finally give them a chance? Um, but yeah, but usually, usually the people that get nervous are people, I mean, I'm going to say like me, although this is not my attitude, but, um, you know, just white male painters that, you know, have been um, at the f kind of front of art history for, you know, centuries. And we suddenly feel, hey, w what is this thing? Like now they're just, um, you know, galleries are just opening up the rosters for minorities. Hey, what happened to people? Uh, deserving a spot there. What happened to um, meritocracia? How do you say that? Meritocracy, meritoc or merit-based uh, things that are merit-based. Um, what happened to that? You have to earn that. Um, I, I think that that's just insecurity on our part, and I just feel that um, we just have to understand that. Uh, we have to balance that scale. And for that scale to be balanced, we have to put a lot of weight on that other side that was forgotten for years. We have to. So that's what, you know, in, instead of just feeling completely threatened by it and, and feeling like these people are robbing you from something that, that you are, um, you're meant to, you know, have naturally, just enjoy that we, we're having the opportunity to see amazing, you know, artists that, would have been invisible to us if things would have kept going, you know, in that same direction. So for sure, we're going to get um, a far broader, far wider, I think far healthier uh, range of representation and of that very personal, you know, life that goes, that spurs that representation, you know, the reason for that manner of representation, which is what um, interests me the most, to be quite honest. You know, I, I'm super, super interested in in how that life is being um, depicted because th that life is the one that's actually kind of spurring all that need to represent those moments. So, yeah. Um. So I was looking for more questions and I saw that Rosalyn said um, that she was wondering if people in the chat were painting or working along while watching the stream mm -hmm. and I was curious about it too. So I am too. Yeah. So maybe if you can let us know. And, yeah, yeah. I'm super curious of that. And they were talking about how hard it is to make uh, people pose. Yeah. And Rosalind said, I always try to get my family to pose and it's a nightmare. Yeah. Nicholas should tell us his secret for getting family to model. Oh, nothing. Just What's ask your nicely, secret? I feel. No, I think that they, you know, the fact that, um, the fact that my mom's an artist, the fact that, um, you know, both Danny and I are, are artists, um, the fact that my niece is a, is a dancer and a singer. I don't know. I think we've kind of normalized it and, and I'm just super open about it. I'll just like scream, um, oh, stay still. And I'm going to take a photo and that's, that's 
you know, they're actually super happy. But some of my sisters are actually pissed off because I don't paint them. So, you know, they're 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 always waiting for the um, for the chance that I'm gonna paint them. So, so yeah, I, I just I think you know if you if you make it part of like regular life, it just doesn't seem weird anymore. So. Oh, so people are answering, yeah. and Badapo is saying that uh, she's they're drawing. I'm sorry, Emily is painting, Bertria is working along, uh, Rago designed is doing a still life. Awesome. Hannah is painting, uh, popping tails, sacando una ilustración. Peter muy bien, muy bien. is painting along. Oh, that's super cool. That's nice. Yeah, that's so cool. We're keeping each other company then. I feel that that's, that is the uh, coolest part. Yeah, and Gabriela Perez. Hola, Gabi. ¿Qué hubo, Gabriela? Dice, I honestly just listen while working. I feel acompañada hearing you guys. <laughs> Muy lindo la acompañada. Um, yeah, so... Well, there's a lot of people that's working along. That's super cool. That's awesome because yeah. I think Danny and I talked that you know when we when we thought about doing lives and we were like, well, maybe it's not quite just about doing the um, same videos like the same exercises, but maybe oh, fuck as I'm painting the microphone, um, <laughs> but maybe it's just about company. Maybe it's just knowing that. You know, this is not just oh. for painters, but maybe there's going to be a bunch of painters and, you know, they could just, you know, we could we could all just tune in into our lives for just a little bit and um, keep each other company. We know that we're going to be working. So, you know, if there's company, if there's this feeling of having somebody else at the other end, just um, maybe listening or or just being there, you know, that's that's such a nice feeling. I actually love that feeling. I really, really like it. Oh, so Atkins gave us an update? Yes, yes, please. Um, They say, okay, guys, just an update for anyone worried. They We all are, by the way. Yeah, they suspect thromboflebin. What? But we'll have ultrasound tomorrow to rule out a clot, and we'll be on bl blood thinning for four weeks. All yeah. Good. And how are you feeling, Atkins? Oh, wow. I mean, do you Cause... have maybe pain or... Yeah, because um, thromboflebitis, Danny, that's like, that's not, that's pretty serious. Wow, dude, I, I hope everything's okay. Yeah, take care. I mean, it's awesome that they caught it and you're going to yeah. be in, you know, best medicine that they can give you is just blood thinners. But yeah, 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 that's, take care, yeah. please. And also, thank you for the update. We yeah. were super worried, so. I mean, just to take your mind off of it, um, I think Danny, Danny's brain is still very much so... On the pigeon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not is. to say that, you know, that the pigeon was worse than you, dude. No, no, no. Of course not. But I know Danny, and yeah, we're, we're probably going to have to have a funeral for that pigeon for her to... We like, have to change houses To have some closure. <laughs> yeah. We're renting. We're going to sell. <laughs> we're, no, we can't sell. This is not ours, but... We um, have to rent another yeah, apartment. Yeah, but so. the uh, the people that the owners are going to have to say, well, there was there was a you know a death in the apartment. We have to. Uh, no, but it was horrible. It was, I'm sure. And I know I said this like 20 times, but it was in my face, Nicolas. Yeah. I mean, like, ¿cuántos son 10 centímetros? 10 centimeters, um, pues sí. <laughs> like four inches. Like four inches away from my face. So. Yeah, maybe. You know, we never know. I actually, do you, you know that that one of my theories is that that she wanted to crush me. No, 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 my not face? she. No, she didn't want to traumatize you. Maybe she wanted to die. Maybe she was like, "Fuck this." In I'm my done. face. Well, you know, if you die, there's no, no, no. Be, but I think bound to be no because people I think, watching or other beings. No, no, watching. no. I, I mean, it's not like why did the pigeon died in my face, but. That sounds sometimes, like a, a different version of why did the chicken cross the road, by the way. <laughs> um, sometimes the birds just crush the windows because they see the reflection. Yeah, they think But I mean, I was there. Like I was 
I don't know, like there wasn't a reflection there. It was like a human being there. No, Maybe no, but the, the, the but they that's the thing. They don't see a reflection. Like they don't see the sky reflected. They don't see. They just see the inside of our apartment and you there. And they would have just flown in like a pigeon flies in anywhere. Yeah, but if I was like if it wasn't um a glass there. Yeah. Like if I was in the street, then she would have like crushed me. <laughs> well, that's what they do. They always fuck with you on the street. They always like fly like a centimeter from no, your face. No, but they don't crush with and, your and face. And I think they do it. No, no, no. They always break. They always break at the last moment. Cause I'm probably I'm sure that they're laughing at us. Like mm -hmm. they're, oh, you idiot, you moved. Um. But it's sad. It's very sad. No, You're it right. was horrible. And you know that I have a theory, like, you know, I, I have, there's another universe in which I believe in like pan consciousness. So I really think that that's, um, that that's something that, that can be part of this universe. So like, I'd like to believe that it, an electron has consciousness and honestly, nobody should Am I putting my head yeah. like too much? Is it too much? Uh, oh, but well, that's not much. That's not bad. If I do that, don't tell me. If I do this, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I do that, if I'm if I'm way, way into the... But uh, if you do that, you will get paint on your cap, so... See, there we go. So that's that's how I'm going to be able to know. Um, uh, you know that I love these conversations, Danny. I'm not going to let that go. Like an electron having consciousness. Yeah. Oh yeah, Danny's super in, super interested. Yeah, yeah, that sounded you're <laughs> super. But yeah. I don't know what to say to that. I mean, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's boring to you. No, 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 Fine. Uh, it's not boring. Fine. We always have this Fine. kind of conversation. It's just that I'm in a vulnerable space right now oh, because of the God. pigeon. So, like I said, maybe it was their decision. It was its decision. It just it, they were like, you know what? Fuck this city. Fuck my life. I'm Goodbye. tired. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm going to do it. There's a window there. Fuck it. Mm. So, People... what? Yeah. No, I was, I was, I, ju I was just going to keep going as yeah. a pigeon. So, yeah. <laughs> no, go ahead. Yeah. No, 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 no. Other pigeons, other, other pigeons have told me that you don't feel anything if you're just flying hard enough. So, you know, you just went for it. What? There we go. I'm done. Yeah. I was just, I was being the pigeon. Mm -hmm. Right. There we go. Yeah. You should have stopped yeah, yeah, that yeah. like okay, go five ahead. minutes ago. Go ahead. So. You're, you're the one who's traumatized. Uh, Gabriela Perez dice, también se les murió una paloma. A mí se me murió un huevo de paloma y lloré, pero me perdí de la historia. ¿Qué pasó? Gaby estaba, a ver, nosotros tenemos en nuestro apartamento la cocina y la sala están conectados. O sea, la cocina es abierta. Y la cocina se conecta con la sala y todo es como un ventanal. Y eh, hay cortinas, ¿sí son cortinas eso? Sí. ¿Persianas en como todo? Como unas persianas en la parte de la sala, pero no en el de la cocina. No en una ventana, que Exacto. es la de la cocina. Yo estaba mirando por la ventana de la cocina mientras cerraba la cortina. Sí. Y estaba como, sí, moviendo la cortina y vino directo una paloma... Y se estrelló contra el vidrio por se el que estampilló. estaba mirando. Sí, se estampilló terrible y sonó durísimo. Entonces yo grité y salí corriendo. Y Nicolás gritó, ¿qué pasó? Y entonces yo le dije, eh, se, se mató. Se mató, se mató. No, dije una vez, cada vez le estás metiendo más. Se mató, dije. O dije, sea, con se un... mató. Y entonces él gritó y dijo, ¡ay, qué pasó, quién! Y entonces yo le dije, la paloma. Y entonces me dijo que no debía haber reaccionado. Pues que tenemos que trabajar <risa> en niveles de reacción. No, fue horrible. Sí, y no, no podemos quedó decir la se mató. En la y, y yo ahí me. Sí, quedó. O sea, esto es súper trágico. El cuerpo y las alas. El cuerpo quedó una, una forma que parece como el Espíritu Santo. No, es terrible. O sea, que quedó un cuerpo nosotros y dos podríamos, alas. En, podríamos empezar a cobrar para que a la gente a viniera. Caracola que vengan a sí. hacer un reporte. Podemos empezar. Si Ay, fuera no. época de Semana Santa, uy, no. linda, nos pues haríamos igual, ya la casi plata. Es Navidad, entonces. La plata. Ay, no. No, fue horrible. Además, es que el problema es que yo estaba, además, yo te estaba hablando. 
Yo no sé qué bobada estaba yo diciéndote, no. riéndome hacia la ventana. Ah, de pronto fue por eso. No, Te no, terrible. La vida. O sea, la vi directo, como en un segundo vi que voló hacia mí, se estrelló en el vidrio, el vidrio sonó durísimo. No, horrible. Pobrecita. Eh, Gabriela dice, Nicolás la paloma se mató. Yo estoy re de acuerdo con la reacción de Daniela, como más esperaba que reaccionara. No, pues yo sé que se murió, o sea... Se murió. Sí, lo que sí. pasa es que yo dije, se mató. Entonces Nicolás me dijo que pensó que había sido como, no, pero uno como no... un accidente de carro. Sí, yo Ay, no, pensé que había sido algo terrible, o sea, una tragedia. O sea, la reacción de Dani fue la que yo esperaría, porque es que reaccionó, as, as, como hizo la mayor reacción posible, la mayor reacción que tiene ella. Entonces yo dije, si ella está invocando la mayor reacción que tiene en su cuerpo, no, pero es, es porque que se... pasó algo horroroso. Ay, no. Y... Pues pasó algo horroroso. Sí. Y sí. vi, vi pero, ese algo horroroso. Pero en tenemos que empezar fila. a dimensionar en, en, ya en el, en el, en la categoría, en la carpeta de horroroso, carpeta. tenemos que empezar a calificar <risa> ese nivel de horroroso. Quién hablo, con este es un nivel do, Este es un nivel 2 de horroroso. Nicolás. Sí, este es un nivel 2. Horroroso. ¿Dos? Es horroroso, no, pero fue es nivel 2. Es horroroso, pero es nivel 2. No, fue horrible. Horrible. Pues tanto que antes de hacer la transmisión me iba a ir a hacer un matcha para tomármelo y no fui capaz. No sé, me dio como impresión, o sea, Porque llegué a la Espíritu cocina Santo y vi la mancha, sí, no, y vine corriendo otra vez, fue horrible. Eh, William Felipe dice, uy, no, qué miedo, era paloma del centro, con cresta y cinco ojos. Pues no, <risa> William Felipe, la verdad, vino tan rápido que yo ni la vi. Tú la viste en el piso, porque tú te, pues asom me hace, te asomaste me, me, hacia me miré, el me, miré y, y hay piedras abajo y, y pues era como una... O sea, era de otro color, entonces ya, pues ya está muerta, ya, ya Ay, se murió. No. O sea, ya no hay nada que hacer. Y eso a mí me ha pasado más veces, entonces por eso de pronto estoy como tan calmado. No, no a digo es que, que sea, a mí nunca me había pasado. No digo que no sea terrible, pero pues ya había sí. tenido esa experiencia, entonces... No, a mí nunca, eh... qué susto. Y so pero perdón, sonó durísimo. Claro, porque van Tú pensaste volando... que me había caído, me dijiste. Pues, pues sí, porque yo igual oí el totazo. So, Rosalind says, please name this painting, Passing of a Pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's, I'm telling you, I have to look for it, maybe paint it, have a funeral for it. You're going to go down and look for the pigeon? I've painted, I've picked up dead birds and painted them. Oh, yeah. I know. But don't bring it here. Adios, chimuelo. <laughs> Pues lo cantaste muy bien, muy parecido. Con Tyson, lo llevamos a donde mi mamá y no, pues ya al lado de Tyson. Lo remata. Sí. Yeah, they were saying. Uh, so Tia was saying, my husband was once traumatized by our dog eating a bird. Yeah. Oh, we oh, had no. like uh, little parakeets when I was younger, and we had a, a wiener dog, Hortensia. I know. Yeah, and she was a natural born hunter. She was like killer instinct so i think my mother was trying to clean their cages and they came out and um and i mean they had not come out of that cage and that dog just leapt like you know eight times its height because again dachshunds wiener dogs are amazing and caught the bird midair And was like chomping on the bird. I had to take it out of the um, out of the mouth. And then with my mother, I remember we put the bird, and I remember the bird not having a leg. But we ran to a um, a vet to see if anything could be done. Did you cry? No. 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 Okay. No. Mm. I loved my dog. I mean, I didn't feel anything for the birds. To be honest, they were kind of annoying. They were. No. Uh, but my not... mother loved the uh, the birds. She was very mad at the dog. Um, and yeah, nothing could be done. Yeah. But she was incredible. I mean, that's a dog. What do, what do you want a dog to be? Like, if you have a dog, it's going to be a dog. You can't expect a dog to not act like a dog. Yes. So yeah, it was amazing though. No, I told you that when I had uh, Franklin, my third eyes. Yeah. That I took him to the park yeah that very slow <laughs> yeah a slow what 
You just, I forget he ran you're... away very slowly. Was it? Or no, something like no, that? no, no. I that forget was, the story. No, no, no. Because that was the grandmother of my mother. Oh no, no. That's the that's the, the one story that you were saying that it yeah. scaled the wall. No, I very don't know slowly. what happened. I mean, they ate it. Come on, you do know what happened. They vanished. No, because they didn't know where she was because she was a sheep in the ch in a pot, and they were no. gonna eat it no. for the next day. No, but okay. no, but I was going to say so, that yeah. Franklin. So it scaled the wall very, very quickly. Or it had been slowly walking slowly. Escaped. It had been walking very slowly. She escaped. To convince you that it was a slow walker. <laughs> and when she was going to, you know, run away, she was like booking it. She was like, later. Um, no. It was a long con. The story that I was going to say uh, was that when I had my turtoise, I took her to the park and... I was like playing with some, I don't know, I was like seven years old and I was playing with some uh, flowers and I saw um, Mirla. Uh-huh. I don't know how to, I, that's one of our of birds. Bird. Yeah. It's, it's a fucking horrible bird. Yeah, but bird. they are super like mad Aggressive. all the time. Yeah, yeah. they are. They are like the, um, I mean, we do have little hawks here in yeah. Bogota also. And I think in terms of, of predatory birds, that we have here in Bogota. I don't think there's anything bigger than those hawks. They're amazing, by the way. But um, but yeah, those, you know, as far as regular birds, those uh, mirlas are just fucking, I mean, they'll eat anything. They can eat wor like worms, uh, little snakes. They can eat other birds. They can eat um, uh, mice. I remember I saw one like in our street. Like eating a mouse, like uh, eating and pecking on a mouse. Yeah, you but know, one morning I was like, oh, "Okay, the this, story you're is fucked that up. the that bird just yeah. like tried, like was trying to peck on my turtle." Oh, but and that's, so I, like, yeah, I she was could running. Peck all day. Yeah, no, 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 because how do I explain? She had the neck out, and oh, she pecked. Idiot turtle! What is what is she doing? Oh, I know. Don't say that. But Respect, frankly. That's what this. Please. But that's what the shell is for. No, but, Keep but your neck then inside. she went into the neck. He went into the neck. Into the shell. Yeah? Into the shell. Into the neck. <laughs> into the neck. Nice. That, <laughs> that was his shell. problem. You were yelling, no. into the neck. <laughs> Get then, into your neck. <laughs> and then the bird like tried to grab all the turtle up. Yeah. And I just like tried to smash the... No, no smash the, Isn't that, the bird. Is, is that a story or a fable? What? That the eagle just grabs a, a one of the turtles. No, and then this just is drops my it. sad reality when I no, was no, six no, but years I'm, old. I'm just I'm just wondering if if the story about the eagles that would come and pick the turtles up and then fly up with them and then just drop them, if that's like something super instinctu instinctual in a bird, like they know what to do. No, I don't know, but I haven't heard about that. Yeah, I think. Um, I don't know. It could either be a cartoon. Yeah, no, yeah. it's true. It yeah. says some golden eagles eat tur turtles. Yeah. Because the turtle shell is too hard to break into. The eagles carry the turtles in their talon. And talons, talons. Talons, I'm sorry. No. And fly high into the sky. Once, o once over a rock outcrop, they drop the... Oh, I know, I don't, yeah, I don't they're want to be. Yeah, that's amazing. No. That's sad. I mean, I know you're like... Um, you are a turtle fan yeah. your team turtle but yeah. that's that's amazing i mean how how well well somebody has to eat. if you want eagles they have to eat yeah if you yeah, want yeah. them to there to be eagles yeah but i was so scared that day nicolas you know, your face i'm sorry your head. my face is amazing yeah thank you <laughs> you know the other day i i, I uh, saw a post on instagram of somebody they were sharing a story of um a bunch of like uh, hyenas that were attacking attacking a lioness and the lioness was like, it was over. Like she mm. had nowhere to go. These were about 10 hyenas maybe on top of her. And hyenas, when they're in a pack, I mean, you can't do anything. And suddenly at the last moment, you get all of the other like lionesses coming, you know, they, they just ran, you know, into that battle and they just, and all the hyenas just kind of scurried off. Mm. And people were like, fuck, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, like sister lions, like that's girl power. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of cool. But, I mean, hyenas have to live. Yeah, They have to, you know, they have to hunt also. If you want hyenas in this world. Well, that's the they animal have to eat. cycle, yeah. Yeah, they have to eat. It's like a crocodile. 
fucking crocodile? Like who hunts? Like crocodile is one of those super alpha, you know, just nobody. What what kills a crocodile? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. No, and I'm not against the animal cycle, but no, but they have to. It eat. was my Franklin. If there are crocodiles, so. they have to eat baby wildebeest at some point. They just have to, you know. That's that's just how it is. Yeah. So. Kira was saying, respect Franklin, Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Um, so. But nothing happened to it, by the way. It finished like. Oh, no. No, not... I just grabbed, grabbed the turtle and started like running. And my uh... dad was like, what happened? And yeah. And you're like. Se mató. <laughs> La mató. Se mató. Oh, no, papá. Pero sí la mató. no, but I was crying. Yeah, it was super terrifying. Um, so you would be a terrible like uh, Nachio um, photographer, videographer. I would be crying all the time because my sister is the is the type of person that she always says interfere, like no, but know, I don't think that intervene we... to no. like grab, throw a rock at the thing that's trying to eat the baby elephant. No. Like, do something. No, that's why I'm saying that. I think they it's can't. like the natural cycle. Yeah, they can't. That's but, probably the toughest part of that job. But they, I think it's hard to see. I mean, I'm oh, super sure, sensible, sure. so. Yeah, sure. Today or? Every day. Okay. Yeah, I'm always sensible, so. Um, no, we saw an example of that today. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say that if you were there. You would have been no, super I've been, terrified. No, I've, I've been in, trust me, like, I'm not trying to make it, you know, not, um, I'm not saying it doesn't matter, because it does. It's super sad. It's sad that, you know, they don't know that that's a window. Um, but what can you do now? Like, you can't do anything now. You could, well, we could buy a, um, like curtains a for that window, <laughs> and we'll just call them. We'll just call the uh, curtain, like, just give it a name so we can bur bury it. Mm, William Felipe dice, jaja, pobre Franklin, ¿será que un águila se metió a tu casa y se llevó a Franklin y así fue como desapareció? No, pero, a ver, yo, mi tortuga ¿Será se que llamaba... creció, creció la mirla? <risa> creció la mirla y la mirla siguió la tortuga toda su vida hasta que llegó a esa tapia no a pero esa esto sería Benjamin tapia. Button porque es que pasó primero lo de la tortuga gigante y luego Franklin y Franklin era una tortuguita que me cabía pero esta en la tortuga mano. gigante era de quién de quién de mi bisabuela ah, que yo le decía ah, es que a mi abuela en... María pero era mi bisabuela y esto que era en vivía... donde en Sevilla no no porque es por el lado de mi mamá ah. o sea era en Flandes que es un pueblito al lado de Girardot sí en Tolima ajá entonces sí eran dos tortugas distintas eh, o sea, la tu, de tu vida, tu conexión con las tortugas es porque, de toda porque mi vida. has tenido, o sea, es justificada, has tenido, tenido mucha cercanía relaciones. cercanía con tortugas. Sí, pero sí. no, o sea, estuvo primero esa de mi bisabuela, desapareció y eh, después eh, tuvimos, pedimos mascotas con mi hermana y nos dieron dos pececitos mm, que bacán. duraron un día. Sí. Ay, fue horrible porque... A mí se me fue la mano con la, con la comida mm, mm -hmm. y yo no sabía que no sabían cuándo parar de comer y pues mm. se, se Mataste explotó. a tus pescados, eso es lo que estás tratando Tenía de Tenía cinco años, pero sí. Bueno, pero pues... Sin culpa. O sea, mm -hmm. les di mucho de comer y mm -hmm. comieron hasta que se murieron. Mm -hmm. Y Como después la de eso... Con Hansel y Gretel. Y después de eso, no. Oye, vente, pregunto algo antes de que Franklin. termines. Bueno, que sí. fue divino, precioso. Fue divino, Franklin. Oye, ven, te pregunto una cosa. Yo ni siquiera Pregúntame. sé si estoy avanzando. ¿Tú me has visto avanzar? Yo creo que no. No te he visto. <risa> <risa> Cerré la ventana de Obi es un rato, pero... Sí. Oye, eh, es que no he, pint he pintado todo menos la cara, pero bueno. Oye, ven, te digo una cosa. Te voy Dime, a poner en, una, en, en, en un dilema. No, en ¿Qué una pasa si incómoda. la paloma Ay, que no, estaba pienses. volando estuviera cargando una tortuguita? Porque se la iba a comer... Y se estrelló contra nuestra ventana y pues murió. Y, la paloma y, y cuando cayó la... la tortuga, la tortuga dijo, gracias al cielo, me murió. Me exploté, gracias al cielo, me exploté. No, la tortuga aguanta, la no, tortuga aguanta, de un obvio. Piso. No, obvio aguanta. No. Y la tortuga ahora está caminando entre las piedritas como diciendo, ustedes no saben cómo me salvó hoy. Hoy fue un día milagroso. 
¿Qué pensarías de eso? No, pues igual me da mucha tristeza porque se mató la paloma. Pero es que era por una eso paloma te digo asesina. que yo, yo, pues es que las palomas igual comen Lo gusanos, que sea. entonces son asesinas. Comen en un eso. asco, la verdad. Pero no. Primero no había una tortuguita ahí, porque habría sido doble tragedia terrible. No. Sí, si ¿cómo se, hubiera se va salvado, a salvar? Se salva. No, ¿qué estás diciendo? Se salva. Yo creo que una tortuguita aguanta esa caída. No, obvio no. Yo creo que sí, el aire, por la, la el aire. por el aire, no, la resistencia del aire de pronto no cae tan fuerte. No, Ella como que pues, planea. Uh, 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 o sea, upa. acá no hay. O digamos una brisa, que se le rompió, se si le rompió un pedacito de la, al lado y dijo, uy, no, que de vuelta mierda, pero estoy viva. Ah. No, igual me hubiera dado pesar. Porque pues mm. igual estaba tratando de comer la paloma, pero mm. me hubiera dado Uch. alegría que se salvara la tortuga. Mm, sí, esos dos sentimientos están como encontrados. Pero el caso es que no fue así y ahorita pues solo no tengo sabemos, no con sabemos, no sabemos, sabemos la mitad de la historia realmente, no sabemos toda la historia. Ay no. Eh... Uh, uh. Estoy buscando más preguntas. I'm actually surprised today that I've been able to paint all of this because, yeah, I don't, I don't even know when I've painted all of this. A lot of turtle talk today. A lot of pigeon, pigeon talk. talk. Yeah. yeah. Espera, ¿qué? Creo que hubo un malentendido. Cuando ¿Conmigo? estabas hablando de la paloma, ¿Sí? dice, what, ¿se murió Tyson? No, no, no. 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 Lo que él decía es que, pues, la paloma Tyson se la comería y lo de adiós chimuelo es por el meme. Pero no, ¿Qué Tyson no, sería, Tyson, ¿qué Tyson, tal ya la cadena? Tyson sería el perro, suelta la perro, hijo de putas. No, así no dice. Suelta la perro, perra. No, era una perra, yo me acuerdo cómo es que le dice. Ay, chimuelo. Adiós, Chimuelo. Pero Lich sí sabe cuál es el meme de Chimuelo. Yo creo, Yo que, creo sí. que sí. Lich, pues tiene Lich. que, si no, búsquelo y diga que sí. Lo no, sí. Porque... La vergüenza que yo paso con las cobijas, yo creo que Lich no la pasa con memes. Uh, so, Wizard was saying, Nicolás and Danny, do you guys practice another activity other than painting and drawing, like music, martial arts, Oof. or something else? Oh, that would be super We like, like... balanced, right? Playing we video don't... games. Yeah, that's uh, about it. We, we go like... out. We played uh, football. Yeah, um, we like to. We... Well, I was gonna say we are not, but I'm not that good at it. But no, no, no. You were you were kicking pretty well. Well, well, I played when I was at school, and I was good. Yeah, no, but, no. Um, well, not good, good. I mean, but I was sort of good. <laughs> um, what else do we do? Uh, That's about it. We'd... Let's not be ashamed. That's about it. Yeah. Nothing else. We are. Uh, we have very limited functions. <laughs> no, we're. I'm always. I've said this like many times. I'm always amazed at, at people that can do so many things in life. Yeah. Like that's incredible. I don't think I would have time to do them. I don't think. I don't know. Honestly, you know what it is. We have a good relationship. I think that we have to work hard for our good good yeah. relationship. So. Yeah. We have a good relationship. Um, I have two kids. They're not always here, but, you know, they'll spend um, either a week or they've been for the past two weeks, a little over two weeks with us now. Yeah. So that's also, you know. Like half of the time we spend together. Yeah, we're here, exactly. So. so that's also, I would say, you know, beautiful, wonderful work. It's still work. Um, and, um, yeah, so in our... Uh, what do we enjoy? Just watching movies, yeah. um, you know, and playing video games. Yeah. So that's a, it's a good thing, I feel. Yeah. And maybe it sounds cheesy, but I think that we also enjoy talking a lot. Yeah. Like we could be like doing mm, chores, but if we're talking or like if we're having each other's company, we, we have fun. Yeah. It, we, and this is going to be super true. Like, if we weren't um, uh, doing this live video, we would probably still be talking about the pigeon and we would be saying the exact same things and yeah. I'd be making kind of like light fun, very light yeah. fun of the pigeon. And then Danny would be telling me the story again of her um, turtles. Yeah. And then I would probably find some dumb way of making another dumb joke. 
And but we would be doing the exact same thing. I I like that's who we are. Yeah. So. But we yeah, we don't because they were saying music and nope. We don't do you know how to use any instrument? No, I don't can't play any instrument. No. Flauta dulce? Maybe? No. No, no, ni en el colegio. No, el do. Nunca podía con el dedo chiquito con no, el do. Yo sí, no. flauta dulce. No, mi do era. <risa> Martial arts, no. No, cuando era chiquito yo. No, yo no. De cuando, cuando era chiquito. Yo, pero pues. Oh, when I was young, I was in the bowling um, league. League of Bogotá, yeah. And I have a SpongeBob. <laughs> Yeah, it's so awesome. Yeah, it's super cool. I have a bowl, a bowling ball of SpongeBob. But I haven't practiced practice since... I think I stopped, I stopped playing when I was maybe 12. So yeah, long time ago. Um, eh, Gaby pregunta, ¿qué videojuegos están jugando? Uy, yo Little ahorita. Nightmares 2, los dos ahorita. Sí, los dos, eh, Little Nightmares 2, y yo estoy jugando uno re chévere, pero, o sea, no mentiras, yo pensé que esos a mí no es que me fueran a gustar tanto. Pero está súper investido. Sí, estoy, tú. estoy re metido. Eh, que se llama Inscription, que es como de unas cartas, es como un, un juego de cartas. Uy, pero es re chévere. O sea, yo he pensado que se va a acabar como tres veces. Yo dije, ah, bueno, se acabó el juego. Y no, tiene como tres actos el juego, es muy bacano. Y yo estoy ahorita súper enganchada con un jueguito en el celular. ¿De ¿Cuál qué? es, Nicolás, por favor? De Bob Esponja. De Bob Esponja. Es de cocina de Bob Esponja y... Sí, o, o sea, nosotros mañana viajamos. Ayer dije que iba a listar maleta y me dieron un nuevo restaurante. Y no aliste nada por andar cocinando en Bob Esponja. Pero sí. Pero pero no no somos como usted, Gaby, que yo sé que ustedes juegan eh, Genshin Impact. No, esos creo que no somos mucho nosotros. Samu Fer, ya te digo. Uy, casi ya se me Ya te cae. digo. Es que toca recoger a Fer. Eh, ya casi, sí, Samu, sí. Ah, creo que hay que bajar ya. Sí, sí, gracias, Samu. Eh, Popping Tales dice ¿Han jugado everything? No, 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 no pero lo he oído Yo sí, no. Yo sí, yo sí ¿De qué? Es re loco ¿Es un co-op co eh, también? No sé si se puede jugar, no, no creo Pero re loco ese juego Puedes hacer como, es como cualquier cosa Es como un Un, um... un Ah no, Samu Samu, pero ya viene como en tres minutos Es si no es... Dice, sí, es un simulation game sí, developed by artist David O'Reilly. Sí. O sea, dile a Samu que si quiere, que sí, mejor que vaya bajando. Espera. Gracias, sí, Lina. Iba a decir duro, pero no. Eh... Mm, so, Callum says, my friend owns a retro video game store and told me to play Inscription. Is it good? Oh, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really liked it. I'm not going to say anything because there are kind of spoilers um, if I start talking too much about the game. But I, I'm i kind of liking it. So I've read that people think that it overstays its welcome at some point. Um, it has one of the coolest, I guess, like, you know, first act I've I've played in a long time. So I don't know. It's It's so hard for me to play like longer video games now that um that I actually really like um uh shorter experiences I guess uh and I have to find time for for the longer games but but yeah next year I don't know how, I don't know what I'm going to do but I I I'm go I'm going you know then this is like for sure I'm going to play Elden Ring so I'm going to see where I can have you know where I'm going to be able to find the time so Callum was saying there's like a story to it right Not just a card yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a story. There's like a meta story. Um, it's uh, 
I mean, it's there. I haven't really, I mean, I've paid attention, but I don't think I'm super invested in that story. Um, but yeah, there is. If, if you're super into stories, like you're, you'll find that there is a story. Um, eh, I don't think it's like a super important part of the game, though. Diego Joaquín dice, ¿Creen que un videojuego puede ser arte? Sí. Uy, 100%. Y yo creo que si alguien cree que no, tiene que sí. ver Cuphead. Uy, no, y, o cualquier, o sea... Sí, cualquier pero Cophead, buen... o sea, por lo menos para mí Cophead es una claro, cosa... Claro, pero, pero porque Cophead es como, como, o sea, es una referencia directa a la animación de los, uy, treintas, ¿sí? Estoy como, me, me pifié en eso, a voy a decir treintas. Con como Cuphead Animation Style. Literalmente se escribe. Uy, conectados. Estamos conectadísimos. Conectados. Uh, dice... De los 30 Inspired sí. by cartoons of the 30s. Eso, exacto. Entonces... Traditional hand-drawn cell animation, dice. Watercolor backgrounds. Y eh, eh, grabaciones de jazz. Ah, originales. sí, obvio, obvio. Sí, uy, la música es muy chévere. Sí, pero no, o sea, lo que digo es que creo que esa es como la prueba más clara de pues que de, pues, obviamente puede... No, o, o que se pueden intersectar, o que pueden tener una referencia directa a otras cosas que nosotros, pues, sin duda entendemos como que son arte, que las podemos definir sin ningún problema como arte. Pero para mí, o sea, para mí Mario, o sea, sí. pucha, o piense... Piensen en algo que haya tenido un impacto en, en cualquier cosa, o sea, un, 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 eh, un, un estímulo visual eh, interactivo que haya tenido el impacto que tiene Mario, por ejemplo. En, 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 o sea, en los últimos, ¿cuánto cumplió Mario? Como 40 años, yo no me acuerdo. ¿Mario tu amigo? <risa> También, ¿sí? sí, más o menos, sí, estamos bien, estamos cerca. Por eso eh, estaba molestando. Eh... Sí, como 40 años tiene Mario, entonces... En el 83. Ah, no. Entonces, no, el próximo año cumple, sí. el, en dos años cumple 40. Sí. Entonces, eh, pues no, poniéndome a pensar, o sea, cosas que hayan tenido ese impacto en, en la cultura popular, no. O es que, o es que una pintura de este siglo uno la puede, o sea, uno puede decirle a la gente en la calle, oiga, dígame una pintura famosa de, de, de finales del siglo XX, a ver si la gente en la calle va a poder decir una pintura famosa. Y, y yo sé que es, este es como, este siempre ha sido como mi, mi, mi dilema con el arte, mi, mi, como mi mayor eh, preocupación con las artes, que es que Dicen ser populares, pero realmente no son. Son súper exclusivas. En cambio, uno le dice a la gente, yo creo que en cualquier lado del mundo es probable que uno pueda decirle a la gente, oiga, ¿usted sabe quién es Mario Bros? Y... Sí. O cuáles son los dos Dígame personajes un de Mario Bros. Dígame un videojuego. Y, y yo creo que dicen Mario. Sí. O sea, eso, eso, es, eso es como una cosa... El poder de eso es enorme, enorme. Mucho más grande. Por eso que... Por eso estaba diciendo, o sea, díganme una pintura del siglo XX que tenga ese impacto sobre la gente. Y no hay, no existe, no existe. Yeah, so Rosalind was saying, Danny, my son, my son and I had a discussion about Cuphead and he's very impressed you finished. Yeah, we did finish. Um, we, thank we, you. We. Yeah. We, we. Yeah. We did. She, she carried me, but we finished Cuphead. So, yeah. Hola, mi Fer. Uh, yeah, we did. We are super proud of it. Yeah, yeah. Again, another example of Danny being excited <laughs> and the volume at which she screamed when she finished. Because she, she <laughs> actually... Was it worse than the we were playing, scream? We were playing two-player. I don't know if you remember, but we were playing two-player. No, at the end, it was alone. Yeah, okay. Settle down. We were playing two-player... <laughs> And we, it was one of those things where um, we were getting, we were dying and you were reviving me and then you were dying and I was reviving you. Yeah. And at that last moment, I, was reviving I you died. And reviving you. And, okay. and revi no, so, I'm just okay. joking. I'm yeah, joking. Yeah, you're not. But uh, 
and then at the last moment, you know, you were left alone, and finally you 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 beat it. And it was like 10 p.m. That's the worst. It was thing. late. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah maybe. I think it yeah, was like super I'll trust late. you. I just don't remember. And uh, but she screamed like murder. I mean, it was a shriek, like a really, you know, I was super like. I, I was also and I like celebrating that. and you were immediately. Like, yeah, you were like, yeah, no, Danny, stop. Stop. I was like, they're going to call is... the police. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, no, 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 no. That was way too much. Like way, way too much. <laughs> yeah. It was, it, again, another moment where she has to, to think about yeah, it. where you have to, you know, kind of understand hierarchies. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I'm just super emotional. So. Yeah, yeah but, but I remember that I screamed so Yeah, but hard. we could save that scream for when Colombia wins, like, the World Cup. Mm. Like, that would be... When? What? When? One day. I don't think we're going to get... Oh, my to... God. I, you were saying oh, that we're not... you're terrible. We're not even going to... You were saying that we're not even going to pass to the World Cup. Maybe. Oh, so now in public, you're but, just saying that I'm No, the... but <laughs> for this World Cup. But I have a firm belief that, you know, maybe... Oh, Maybe I would love to. We have to. a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but this one, I think it's, it's not going to be. Yeah. It's tough. It's going to be super tough. We play today, by the way. Yeah. But also, when they play, we leave our heart, like, in that moment. Oh, yeah. We always, we scream a lot. Yeah. This is a screaming household yeah. when uh, <laughs> we're watching football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Rosalind says, Danny, you could get work screaming for scary movies. <laughs> I think I... I think I... I can. And also, I have a super terrifying scream. Yeah. I think I showed you once that I was like, oh, I can scream like super loud. And you were like, yeah, okay. And I was like, no, like, believe me. And I did scream and you were yeah, like. Yeah, but that's like a, that's like a weapon. <laughs> you know, you can't just then use it for anything. No, but I didn't use it. I mean, I've used it for the pigeon. And for <laughs> and for, for cuphead. cuphead, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I mean, in almost six years, that's like handling my screams super good. Yeah, but if something wrong is happening to you, I'm all. If, oh, if this keeps going, on, a thousand times, I'm gonna higher. be like, yeah, maybe something's wrong, or maybe she just finished a video game, no. or another pigeon died. No. Hmm. Said he says screaming isn't that far from singing ah uh, i mean bad singing sure <laughs> um so let me see mm. uh so column says off topic, but how do you guys photograph your work for Instagram or do you scan it? Feel like I'm constantly battling the iPhone skewing the painting. Oh, Skewing, yeah. maybe. Yeah, phones are not great, to be completely honest. If you have a scanner, that's I would favor the scanner and it fits if, you, if, if the image fits in your scanner bed. Um, if you have some Photoshop skills, you can totally... Um, you can totally edit that image to get it a little bit closer to to what your uh, painting is. Yeah. The bad thing about scanners the is glare. that they, yeah, they just yeah. bounce so much freaking light into the image, onto the image that, for example, shadows, um, you're going to get a, a lot of information on shadows that it's probably not there uh, in your image. But having said that, I've favored uh, scanning over... Taking photographs because I I actually take photographs with the same camera we're recording right now, and um, and sometimes this the the camera will just, I mean, our again maybe it's because our lighting setup is not great, so we're using like very diffused lighting. But I think we can get we usually get good pictures. Um, yeah. for example, the 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 ones that I've posted lately of the uh, paintings that we've done for the lives that I've uh, posted on on um, my Instagram, they are handheld. They are actually handheld and um, and very, very little light available um, and, because I take them at the end of the session 
So just to, just so I can have like a, a record of the painting, I'll just take it at the end and um, I'll think about taking another photo later on. And, but, and that works, that's worked super, super well. Yeah, the thing is that the camera is so good. Yeah, the camera is- That's why. Right, right, right. But I do, I like I was saying, I've, I've ended up favoring with many images uh, scanning. For example, for drawings, it, I think it's better to scan them. I really do think it's better. And I used to, maybe it's, um, maybe working on paper has something to do with it, but when I was doing, working on, on a primed surface or, um, uh, or when the painting would have just this natural kind of glare to it, I wanted to take a photo. I think that those paintings in the scanner are a mess. Yeah. But because the surface has become so, you know, or because I've become so accustomed uh, to the surface being absorbent that um, I just think the uh, the best bet is to scan them. And we have a very, very cheap, Super cheap yeah, yeah, like all in one scanner. And I just put it to the um, I, I just uh, um, I just uh, scan it at the uh, highest uh, DPI that it has, which is 600. And, um, and I just save it as a TIFF file and that's about it. And then any, any editing that I have to do, it's, it's all Photoshop. I'm, I'm comfortable with Photoshop. So I think that with Photoshop, I can get it pretty close to, to what I, you know, what the painting is. So. Um, Sergio was saying, Cuphead is so hard. My son yells at me for dying all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I, you I, with fear. I understand uh, your son. And I understand you. Yeah. Danny never, although you, you never got mad at me. No, never. No, I was never mad. Sometimes you were like, ah, you'd be better if I like don't play this level. And I was like, no. Because the thing with Cuphead is you that if you, if you play two player, it's actually harder. Yeah, but... Also, the thing is that you can, uh, when someone runs out of life, you can help them get alive if you clap their hand. So yeah, if you that's if you time good. like a double jump, um, and get like the spirit? the little ghost, I and know. if you hit that little ghost, uh, yeah, and we're probably gonna play it again once the um, once the Tally's yeah version. the DLC comes out and yeah. it, it was supposed to come out like ages ago like but I don't 2020 know. I think yeah. it was <laughs> but I don't know what's happened probably COVID. Uh, so Callum said, "I've been working on unprimed paper at the at the at the moment, so we'll try to track down a scanner." Thanks. Yeah. yeah, Callum, we got this scanner. It was on sale and it was maybe $20, $25. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's been super good. I, I think mean, so. I, I would certainly say so. Yeah, yeah. Um, the bad thing is that, is, is that it's so old that I can't find the... Um, if I go to the Canon website, they don't have the software. The, oh, the, yeah. The actual software that we need. So, so I'm using like a third party. I think I installed like a, like a weird driver. It's yeah. not because I can't even find the driver for this scanner. Um, and so I had to un like install like another driver for another scanner. And, um, and but then that I stopped functioning. And then like a, a like free, yeah. And that gives, that's given us kind of trouble. Uh, because our we were scanning with um, another software, and I had to change it because it wasn't recognizing yeah. the uh, the scanner the other day. So, um, so when we were talking about martial arts, yeah, Jeff said, "Did I hear taekwondo?" Yeah, I used to when I was little, but when I was very young, so that like how old? I I don't even know. Probably until I was. Maybe 11, 12, maybe. And were you good? No, of course no? not. No, I was fat. Mm, I mean, fat doesn't mean not, do. not good. But, you know, I, I just had that fat strength, that, you know, strength that you have if you're like a, a very fat kid. Mm, but you can't 
generalizing. I'm general. Oh, okay, I'm not generalizing. And by the way, I was the one who was fat. I can make. I can say those things. You know, I've, I suffered through my whole childhood being the fat kid, so I can speak about those things. Um, yeah, so it was like, it wasn't super strong, but you just put, if you put your whole weight into it, then yeah, you know, you're strong suddenly. It's like Tyson Fury. He's just enormous. He's just huge. So if he was lighter, he wouldn't be the uh, boxer that he is. If he's smaller, he wouldn't be the boxer that he is. But no, I wasn't the Tyson Fury of Taekwondo. I was just uh, a kid. Um, yeah, that reference was a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off. Maybe. And what belt did I get to? I mean, I think it's. Um, uh, oh, this is gonna sound pathetic. Like green stripe red was it after green? Yeah, it's pathetic. It's really pathetic. I never. I've never tried a martial. Meanwhile, art. my brother had like throwing stars. You know, it was it was ridiculous. Um, so Jeff Avila says, "Cool, I own a taekwondo school." Oh, nice! I was a fat kid too. There we go. I would love to try a martial art. To try a fat kid. What? What are you saying, Danny? Nicolas, Don't that talk like that. Terrible. I know. As a fat kid, I'm gonna say that was very insensitive, Danny. Lich says Bolivia 2-0. Contra, con, no sé contra quién está jugando Bolivia Lich. <coughs> uh, se ahogó, Dani. Se ahogó. I'm so, I'm se ahogó, sorry. siguió. Um, está Bolivia Uruguay. What? Sí. Le está ganando Uruguay. Bueno, nos está ayudando ahí. Nos sí. está dando una manito. Bueno, aunque Bolivia. No, Bolivia está re abajo. Sí. Sí. Sí, pero sí, porque Uruguay está justo detrás de nosotros, sí. Sí, sí. Nos toca, es como, pues si nos vamos a hacer la idea de repechaje, pues nos Uy, toca que se nos cuidar todo, ese ojalá. quinto puesto así como locos. <risa> Rosalind says, bless you, Danny, thank you. Oh, that wasn't like, that was uh, that choking. That wasn't sneezing, yeah. Yeah, was that was, uh, <risa> she just choked on her own uh, spit. Saliva. <risa> yeah. Again, yeah. traumatized. This is one of the uh, effects of the uh, trauma. Um, uh, uh, wait, I had a question. Noemi Estrada dice, hola. Hola. Qué interesante esto que hacéis de pintar en directo. Es todos los días. Un saludo desde Francia y enhorabuena por la maestría en la pintura y por el canal. Eh... Pues sí, lo hemos estado haciendo todos los días. Pues todos eh, no. días laborales, o sea, de lunes ah, a ah, viernes. Sí, 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 sí. Sábados y domingos no eh, ah, se sí. hicieron para pasar en familia. O para ver fútbol. O jugar juegos. Sí, o eh, dormir y comer. Sí. Eh, pero ayer decíamos, eh, Noemí, que, que mañana vamos a estar de viaje y vamos a estar visitando a mi hermano que vive en Estados Unidos. Mañana lo... nos vamos, es que dice, mañana sí. vamos a estar. Pues vamos a empezar de viaje. Estar de viaje no vamos es Vamos a una empezar expresión. de viaje. Vamos a empezar nuestro viaje. Estar de viaje no es, ellos Pues, pero es que viaje. es como, mañana estamos de viaje, es como si pasado mañana, ¿no? ¿No? ¿O no, estoy porque un viaje, cansada? no, porque no he dicho cuánto dura el viaje. Mañana estamos de viaje. Mañana empezamos. Sí, bueno, mañana nos vamos de viaje. Sí. Gracias, Dani. Eh, importante. Por la editorial. Sí, importante, importante esa aclaración. Eh... <ríe> No, mañana, mañana salimos de viaje y entonces eh, por unos días pues no vamos a estar eh, transmitiendo. Pero sí, la idea es que, que hagamos esto eh, durante varios días a la semana y en especial el próximo año. Sí. Vamos, a, vamos a estar haciendo esto, así chévere. Y vamos a hacer un stream en Año Nuevo, no. muy interesante <risa> también. Dani ya se comprometió. Uh -huh. Sí. Pero ya estabas diciendo ayer además que como me si demoro quieres... tanto en pintar, el stream sería... 2023. Solo, so, no, solo una pintura Dani mía. comienza en el 22. Y en el 23. 60 horas en vivo de una pintura. <risa> eh, Pero... 
Podríamos, Dani. Y además, si quieres, comenzamos con tu... Pero es que ya te dije que esa fecha la decir, celebramos comenzamos con, con tu mi webcam, familia. Entonces pero eso no suena sé, como extraño. Nicolás, pero... Con la Ahorita webcam... dijiste una thing for kids. You can... lo ¿Qué? De, lo de a fat kid. Y ahora sí. estás diciendo no, que la que webcam... comenzamos con la cámara que quisiéramos tener como mirándote a ti. Que eso además sería... Para mí sería muy chistoso porque yo hago muchas caras. Sería súper chévere. Pues... Imagínate las caras que haría cuando hablas como por 20 minutos seguidos. Pues, Yo acá. Sí. sí. Nicolás Dani está aburrido. <risa> Nicolás, Nicolás Dani se durmió cambie. en el teclado y. Nicolás, échale agua a Dani en la cara. Um, eh, so I'm looking for more questions. Eh, ah, bueno, Noemi dice: Buen viaje, voy a estar pendiente. Gracias, es muy interesante. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, María. Noemí. Ojalá nos puedas acompañar en lo que queda el año y el próximo año y los años que se vengan. Huepa. Huepa, salud. Viva Colombia. Sí. Callum says, here's a good question. Yes. What should I paint tomorrow? Uf. A pigeon. Oh, yeah. Well, no, but, I mean. I mean, she asked. She, he, they asked, I'm sorry. Callum asked. Callum asked for something, so. Yeah, but a pigeon, you would have to, it's so tough to paint them. That's my like, suggestion. So. You know, from life, it's it's super tough. For, from but life? Directly from life? But they didn't ask for something to paint from okay. life. Yeah, no, no, no. So, yeah, so you could honor Danny and paint a pigeon that is um, flying away with uh, a little turtle. No. It's called Franklin. Eh... Danny would love that painting, by the way. Just tag her. If you do that, Callum, just tag her. She would be super excited to see it. But with a happy, happy turtle. Like a smiling well, Franklin. Well, a turtle accepting of her fate, then, I mean, if she's happy, she's like, come on. No, because. I'm going to be soup, but I'm fine with it. Soup? A bird doing You don't know. You don't know what the they turtle? do. You don't know what they do. Um. Eh. Eh. A ver, espera. Estoy buscando. Eh. William Felipe dice: ¿Cuánto tienen pensado que dure el proyecto con Dani? Uy, no sé. ¿Cómo? Hasta que nos cansemos mucho. O sea, este fue dos años y el que empieza el otro año... No, ese por ahora no le hemos puesto fecha. No. Lo que pasa es que desde el principio, cuando pensamos en este proyecto que fue 2020-2021 de videos de lunes a viernes, todos en el mismo rango de precios, eh, empezando el canal de YouTube, todo eso, eso sí fue pensado siempre como con un tiempo... Eh, límite, entonces siempre fue un proyecto de dos años pero ahorita lo que queremos hacer es eh, como culminar con ese proyecto y poder como transicionar a algo que de pronto podamos hacer por, por mucho más tiempo ¿estás de acuerdo con lo que dije? pues sí, ya me toca decir que sí o sea, ¿cómo así? Sí, me comprometiste, impresionante pero no, 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 sí, sí obvio eh, todo lo que dice Dani, sí, sí, sí sí esa es la idea. Sí a todo lo que dice, sí, todo lo que dice Dani. Ese es el secreto a una excelente relación. Ay, eh, no, chiste de bobo. Sí, por favor. Eh, por favor. <risa> eh, sí, lo que podamos es que tampoco sabemos cómo, o sea, tenemos como una idea de, de lo que puede ser ese proyecto, pero solo hasta que uno comienza como que se empieza a dar eh, cuenta de, de todo lo que implica. Sí. Entonces... Vamos a ver, vamos a ver cómo... ¿Qué forma va tomando? Sí, vamos a ver. Eh, Gaby dice, ¿y cómo va a ser el próximo proyecto? Eh, van a ser las sesiones de pintura, pero en vivo, así como estamos ahorita. Y eh, va a haber como una especie de correspondencia visual entre Nicolás y yo. Eh semanalmente. Es decir, esa la tienes que explicar un poquitico más. Dale. No, pues tú dale, dale. Dale, dale, que yo he hablado mucho. 
Eh, entonces, Gaby, lo que vamos a hacer es que Dani o yo puedo comenzar, por ejemplo, yo puedo comenzar haciendo una imagen y vamos a hacer una de estas a la semana y esa la, o sea, la ve Dani y después Dani tiene una semana para hacer otra imagen y esas van a ser como parejitas. Y entonces es como creando, no sé, no sé si sea una narrativa. Como una especie de conversación entre... Sí, exacto. O, y, pero no tiene que ser como nada literal. Sí, no, no es tiene... como una respuesta directa. O sea, es una respuesta. Pero por eso es una pero respuesta, es como... pero no directa. Es, o sea, como... es como a ti se te dé la gana interpretar cómo, sí. se res... cómo sería una respuesta a esa imagen. Sí. Y, y después, pues entonces yo veo esa imagen y empiezo y hago eh, otro Otra. comienzo... Eh... Y hacemos así como parejitas de imágenes durante sí. lo que sea el año o, o el tiempo que queramos hacer como ese, esa especie de, de dinámica. Sí, y la idea es que esas, eh, pues como es una imagen que responde a otra, esas imágenes eh, van a estar disponibles siempre en parejita. Sí. Eh, Gaby dice, ay, pero me encanta esa idea, re bonito. ¿Y Dani sí. podría responder con escultura, por ejemplo, o es claro. pintura? Sí, sí, sí. Exactamente. Exactamente, sí. Eso es lo que queremos, como que se pueda eh, responder desde cualquier medio. Entonces, yo, yo no, yo no tengo tanto rango Pero como de pronto Dani. tú dibujo pintura. Ah, pues, sí, pues no... sí, pues yo hago lo que, lo, lo que sé hacer, <ríe> lo poquito que sé hacer. No, pero, pero pues tú... podrías hacer escultura. Yo, no, o sea, papi, lo que tú sabes de escultura esto... es lo que yo sé de escultura. No, no empieces. No pero empieces. es que yo nunca he tomado clases de escultura. No, pues yo nada. tampoco, pero pues yo no soy, yo no soy tan bueno. Pues ahí, obvio sí. Pues ahí. Pues ahí. Eh, pero sí, sí, entonces eso va a ser. Y eh, la idea sería que podamos eh, también hacer como una sesión así en vivo, compartiendo un poquito de esas imágenes, como charlando un poco de él porque de esas imágenes y viéndolas porque pues como dice Nicolás eh, él no va a ver la mía hasta que yo la comparta con todo el mundo y viceversa eh, y del mismo modo y del mismo modo en el sentido contrario contrario, contrario. Uh, wishlist 011 says cats or dogs playstation or xbox so for me dogs and playstation so ditto yeah but again Nothing wrong with, well, I'm not a cat person, so I'll just come straight out and say it. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, I think it's just been my life. Yeah, we've, so, we've spoken person. about it, but yeah. um, it's just my history. It's just been my life. I've always been surrounded by dogs. I think they're incredible. Like cats, I'm sure, are great too for, you know, some people. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I, you know, again... You're if, a dog if, person. Yeah, so, if you're yeah. into cats, that's amazing. That's so wonderful. I'm happy that they have somebody like you. Um, I was going to say to take care of them, but no, cats don't give a fuck. They don't need anyone to take care of them. They're like, yeah, if if I feel like being here, I'm going to be here. If I'm not into it, then fuck you. I'll I'm going to leave yeah. for a couple of weeks. Then I'll be back. Uh, don't get too attached because I don't really care about you. Um, so yeah, so I'm 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 not um, not into cats. Much rather have a, a a pet that could care so much about you that you know could throw itself like in front of um, you know somebody who's trying to to steal you know your wallet or something like that. It doesn't matter the size of the dog. Like they're just gonna they're gonna be amazing. So yeah. And PlayStation or Xbox? Oh, I've always... Well, I, I grew up uh, Nintendo, uh, but then older. I never had an Xbox. I had one super had old. One. Yeah, I had one when I was really old. Uh, and I, I bought like a modded one, like a 360 modded one. And I tried to play a bunch of games that I wasn't able to play. And I remember I played Mass Effect 2. Uh, on my 360, on my modded 360, and I also played uh, Red Dead um, because it sucked on the uh, PS3, and um, they were amazing. I mean, Mass Effect 2 became like one of my favorite games ever. So, um, so yeah. But um, ever since I had the uh, uh, a PlayStation, I've bought PlayStation. So, and I've played most of the uh, PlayStation 
if not all of them. Yeah, um, but I remember that you like thought exclusives. You thought about buying the new Xbox too. Well, remember? Yeah, but you know, if I could buy it, if I could get the two consoles, so yeah, I was yeah, being yeah. very greedy. Yeah. And I didn't, but um, but no, we have a, a PS5 actually. So yeah, yeah, and it's it's been amazing. So, um. <laughs> So popping tails is saying Danny is a pigeon person. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but pigeon you know, and a turtle person. No, the thing is that I don't really like. Um, como digo, me dan impresión. Ah, uh, que no sé qué vas a decir las, entonces. Las palomas me dan impresión, como oh, que. Oh yeah, she's. Como yeah, que me dan. she's actually scared of pigeons. Mm, well, not scared, but yeah. like horrified. No, it's like a weird feeling. I could never like touch a pigeon, like pet a pigeon. No, I don't think so, but but I mean I But you'll mourn their death yeah, apparently. But, yeah, that's what what I was going to say. I mean, it's an animal, so I love them being healthy and alive. So, yeah. Yeah. But I don't want to touch it. No. No, no, no. I I could never. It Do you remember this tree pizza? Yeah. It was full of pigeons. Well, everywhere around. No, pero en Distri Pizza uno se sentaba a comer ahí. Pero en cualquier lado. Y, sí, pero mi hermana manera. tiene... Pregúntale, ella se burla mucho de esto porque una vez yo estaba comiendo y aterrizó una paloma y con una pata o con el ala, no sé, aterrizó con mi pizza. Uy, qué asco. Entonces me no tumbó la pizza al Yo piso. no vuelvo a comer pizza en <ríe> No, vida. yo tampoco, pues No yo esa pizza, yo no, no vuelvo a comer pizza. ¿Qué de su, no, de esa experiencia? no, qué y pobre palomita estaba súper enferma. Mm, y o sea, qué asco, una sí, paloma enferma además sí, te tocó sí, sí. la pizza. No, no yo no podía dar la impresión. O sea, me dieron no, como no, calambres. Qué asco. Uy, no. Sí, qué no, asco. pero pobrecita. Yeah, but I don't really love... Pigeons. Like, I'm not a pigeon fan, but yeah, but I'm a turtle person, like a thousand percent. Uh, yeah, Leech says it give you the... Oh, the creeps. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Leech said cats would eat you if you die with them. Yeah, <laughs> I yes. A dog would die out of sadness if you die with them. Um... Wishlist 011 says... We can start calling them Wishlist, I feel. I like Wishlist 011. Zero, okay, you want to go full? Or 011. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Do the whole <laughs> thing, yeah. I like living on the edge with cats. You never know when it will try to trip you up on the stairs. <laughs> yeah, uh, the thing is that we don't really like that... Um, like... Um, How can I say, like... Cats? Tough love relationship. Because cats are like that. I mean, you can pet them and they just, like, scratch you. Yeah. From a moment to another. So, you don't have that kind of oh, dog weird just, love with like, the dog. Yeah, you know, so. dumb, unconditional love. Yeah. Just, you know... Well, I am are, yours forever. There are also annoying or like super um, yeah, like human, mad dogs. Yeah, but, like human beings. Yeah, but yeah. They're usually super loving, so. Uh, Gabriela dice, yo con literalmente tres gatos, que sí, perdón. Sí, no, yo, yo, he visto, yo he visto la devoción de Gaby con los gatos. Sí, no, y pero, la gente pero Gaby, que le encanta los sí, ama y los no, adora. No, sí, Gaby ama a sus gatos obviamente, o a sí. sus gatas, gates, lo que sean, eh, pero no, 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 pero yo tengo que aceptar que yo no, yo no, 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 no puedo, no, no sé, no sé qué hacer con un gato, no sé, no sé, me pongo como nervioso porque no sé cómo comportarme. Um, Tia says, I love dogs and cats, if I were rich and had a big house, I'd like to have five Or more dogs and three or more cats. I now only have two dogs. Yeah, you would have to get another house for you then. <laughs> yeah. I would love to have a dog in the future. So. I think we will. I think, yeah. honestly, I think we will. Yeah. I would be so oh, happy God. when we... It has to be a small dog, though. Yeah. Un chili. Yeah. Yeah, because if we, if we are going to have a dog, uh, its name is going to be Chili. We already know that. Like, well, that's the name that I want for a dog since I was, like, 
four years old. So someday we're having a chili, chili bean. <laughs> yeah. No? I have no say in this. So no, as you, you guys don't. can tell, I have absolutely no say in this. So, um, so Briley says, this feels like fate. I painted a dead pigeon I found about two days ago. Rest in peace, little pigeon. I... Yeah, this one, rest in that pieces. That was like a... Ay, Nicolás. It's the truth. It... No. That was like a premonition. Um, Gaby dice, yo no puedo con los perros. Me estresa que estén detrás de uno todo el tiempo. Pero no están tan detrás de uno. O pues... sea, si tú los quieres llamar, siempre están a tu disposición y son divinos y... Sí. Pero no, es como que el... sean la sombra de uno. No, todo el se tiempo. echan al lado. O sea, ellos se echan ahí, ahí todo bien. Es como cuando me necesite, aquí estoy. Para que me consienta. cuando quiera salir, cuando quieran, cuando quiera sacarme un ratico, aquí estoy, cuando quiera. So Tia says, dogs eat dead human too. Scienti scientists have the research. If dogs owners die, they eat the bodies. They okay, don't so enjoy it though. They, it's probably like super hard for them. Yeah, they're. I'm crying, sure they're like, oh no, crying, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, I'm going to need therapy for this. Mm. Eh, Lich dice, mi perra se va a filosofar a la terraza. <laughs> ¿Y cómo, cómo es eso, eh, Lich? ¿A mirar? <laughs> ¿A mirar el infinito? Eh, y Gaby dice, es que los perros son como todos intensos. ¿Uno con qué energía cuida a un ser así? No, pero yo creo que tampoco necesitan tanto... O sea... Tampoco es como que uno tenga que estar encima del perro 24-7 cuando está en la casa. O sea, el perro tiene eh, su vida Sus propia. horas de sacar... Si sus es, horas del baño, si claro. Si tiene que salir, si tiene que salir a hacer pipí, popó, pues sí, sí toca. Eh, pero, y a caminarlo un ratico, pues sí, también toca. Sí, pero no es como que entonces uno llega a la casa y tiene que estar... Así con... que uno diga... Ex, ex, eh, Exclavizante. Eh, ex. Esclavizante. No sé por qué me fui a... De... Con esclavizante. Así que uno diga esclavizante, no, no creo. Pues no sé, es que en la casa, en mi casa materna, eh, porque dije materna, es la misma casa sí, de mi, mi papá. casa. Sí. Pues no, donde está mi mamá de pronto. Tu casa. Pues, yo por eso pienso así. Mi casa eh, de la infancia, en digamos. Mi casa, sí. Eh, siempre hubo perros entonces, y ahorita hay perro, entonces no sé. Eh, Lich dice, like Homer and the Lobster. Sola se sienta a mirar al infinito. Uh, Wishlist 011. Oh my God. You, were, says, you thought about just stopping at Wishlist. No, I was thinking if I was going to say 011 or 011 or 011. Oh, that's just a pause for drama. <laughs> so, Wishlist 011 said. I watched the Dear Zachary documentary. Oh, my God. You could just sense how badly it was going to go. Oh, God. And did you liked it? Oh, yeah. and Rosalind says, I watched Dear Zachary as well. Oh, my God. A day what, for what suffering. Did you, what did you thought about it? Um, did you thought it was a good documentary? I want to know. And I'm happy that you that you followed my suggestion and go watch it. That's super cool. Um, so Rosalind says, a cat beat me on the heel and I was on antibiotics for over two months. Oh, my God. Satan's agents. Oh, that's terrible. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice rabia? Rabies. Did, it, did the cat gave you rabies or something like that? Um, <laughs> oh, so, yes. Wishlist 011 oh, says, God. I'm going to change my name to Wishlist 011483332. Oh, oh, dude, <laughs> do me that favor. Oh, so do me that. that favor. Yeah, put Danny on the spot, please. Um, Lich says, I watched it too, like three years ago and cried with like anger. Yeah, yeah, it's, no, it's, yeah no. it's so hard. Jesus Christ. But it's a super good documentary. Yes, Lich, and the thing is that I was saying that, that that's my favorite documentary. And when we were dating with Nicolás, he told me to choose a movie 
or a documentary or something and I choose that for like our first date so like yeah like our first red movie flags date, date so yeah, yeah red flags galore yeah so it was like a a harsh start for us <laughs> bitch says haha what why would you do that <laughs> Um, Gaby dice, oigan, Fer, ¿alguna vez les ha dicho algo por ser retratada tantas veces o lo ama muchísimo? ¿Que por qué no hacemos más? Sí, lo ama muchísimo. Sí, a veces es como, por porque favor, solo hubo por un, favor, dos más. pinturas mías en la semana. Sí. Sí, le encanta. Uh, so, Lich says, I choose come and see, it is anti-war. Come and see. Do you know what is that a name of a movie? Oh, for the first date yeah. movie? Oh yeah, it's a name of a movie. Which one is it? Come and I don't know, it looks a little bit terrifying. Come and see. I don't know. You should ask people if they remember like their But date. I mean, look at this. Oh, very leech, yeah. Oh leech que hizo que se esto look que at se this. este drama. ¿De quién es esa peli, Lich? ¿De quién, quién es el director? ¿no? Peli Lich. Es de... Eh, Elem Klimov. No, ni idea. Pero... La sacaron en el 85. No, no sé, no sé. ¿No la recomienda Lich? Eh, a ver. Eh, así dice, a movie Danny. Man, the photography is incredible. Uh, so yeah, Rosalind says, yes, it was a very good documentary. People are crazy. Yeah. Mm, um, Victor Barbero dice, ¿qué piensas de la obra de Rivera, el españoleto? Uy, monstruo. Monstruo, me fascina, me encanta. Mm. Eh, después de Velázquez y Goya, diría, de pronto. Como mi, ¿Qué mi... está en tu top? Sí, top 3, sí. Velázquez y Goya. Uy, entre Velázquez y Goya, yo creo que cualquiera de los dos es como top 1. De pronto más Goya que Velázquez, incluso, incluso me atrevo a decir, sí. Voy a decir eh, Goya, Velázquez y José P. Rivera. Uh, so Mary was saying, have you seen the new Bob Ross documentary on Netflix? Yeah, we Heard did. Heard it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah super we sad. did. Yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also interesting because you get an insight in, for example, why did he use this? Hey, little, look at this, this little rascal. Yeah. All the time. So super interesting. Yeah. Come here, you little rascal. <laughs> um, Así le hablaba a las ardillitas o a los chipmunks o a... So Todd said The documentary Why Beauty Matters Is interesting for art lovers Have you seen it, Nicolás? Um, I'm asking if no, you've seen it No, I don't think so I'm gonna Google it Maybe I've seen it, I don't remember the title Why Beauty Matters um, It was released in 2009 a British documentary by Louis Lockwood. Mm. Um, I don't know. Let me. See, can I see a? Yep. Some scenes, maybe, or what it is about. I mean, I get. I'm guessing what it's about, but from the title. So, I think this is the like the flyer. Right, like a Botticelli. Is yeah. It? Yeah. Looks like. And. Uh. So, so, it says a provocative essay on the importance of beauty in the arts and in our lives. Wow. Making a case for restoring it to the center of our civilization. Wow. Is it like a, I'm guessing it's like a super classical definition of beauty then? Maybe. Because I haven't seen it. No, I haven't either. So, yeah. 
Um, it would have to. I know that it's making a case. It would have to convince me. I don't know how I feel about classical be uh, beauty, to be perfectly honest. So Todd says it's on Vimeo, art, architecture, philosophy. Okay. So, okay, uh, so we can watch it. Eh, Victor Barbero dice, ¿y qué opinas de la obra de Antonio López? Eh, también me no, encanta. Pues increíble. Sí, sí, me encanta. O sea, muy lejos de, de la capacidad que, que tendré yo en cualquier momento de mi vida. Que tendrá, yo creo que el 99% de sí, la gente. Sí, sí, es un genio, es un monstruo. Sí. Es un monstruo. Eh, sí, sí. Eh, eh, incluso, pues, es, es de esos artistas, yo, yo he dicho mucho acerca del que eh, para mí fue importante como también entender que pues uno no tiene que pintar como o sea uno no tiene las capacidades de sus ídolos pintores y tampoco tiene no es una cuestión de capacidad tampoco o sea eh, muchas veces es es que uno no posee una sensibilidad o una actitud para pintar algo yo, yo nunca nunca en mi vida podría hacer lo que él hace, o sea, y estoy hablando de, de eh, algo que va más allá del acto de pintar, o sea, yo no, no tengo la paciencia, como ser humano no tengo la paciencia para ir a, a sentarme o a, a ponerme en una intersección de una calle a pintar eh, ese, ese mmm, paisaje urbano por tres años, o sea... Sí. No, y con no ese tengo. nivel de detalle, de No, pues sí, o sea, precisión. Es que no, lo que digo es que igual... Con el tiempo, o, o sea, hablando de, esa, de ese, esa longitud de tiempo, pues uno empieza a imaginar el grado de compromiso que uno tiene con la imagen que, y, es, y es absurda. O sea, yo no sé, mi cuerpo como que no, no entiende ese sentimiento. Yo no, no, no tendría yo como esas ansias de, de hacer eso. No las poseo, o sea, es, ahí, ahí es donde uno, yo creo que tiene que ser honesto con uno mismo y decir, no, este es, o sea, es un pintor genial, pero yo no soy ese pintor. O sea, más allá de la capacidad, de nuevo, no, nunca podría, si tuviera la capacidad, nunca podría ser ese pintor. Así la tuviera, no, no podría. Um, so, Roslyn said, ASMR OPL always makes me happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the... Uh... A little rascal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Callum says, I once took a girl to see Kick S2, having never seen Kick S1. Oh, stop Safe it. Safe to say, I'm still single. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can try on the next day to take her to Kick S1. No, to take someone to see uh, Dear Zachary. I mean, it worked for oh, me. No, no <laughs> it barely. <laughs> It barely it worked, worked for me, for you. so no, you can give no, it a try. No, that was. I felt very awkward. I felt very <laughs> wrong. I was like, "What is this? What is she trying to tell me with this?" <laughs> Nothing. Oh my god. That I was interested in good documentary and true crime. So. Well, you could have just said that, and that's it. You could have just like, "Oh, I love this movie," but yeah, that's not a good no, date but movie for sure. As we said before, I was like, "Are you open to any kind of documentary?" And you were like, "Oh, of course I am. I mean, yeah, of course." The, the mating of sperm whales. That's that's what I thought we were gonna watch. <laughs> um, Gabriel Iván dice, "Nicolás, ¿qué piensas de la obra de Francis Bacon? Me ah. encantan estos en vivo." Ah, muchas gracias. Eh, también muy fan, muy 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 fan. O sea. Honestamente, pues puede que este no, no puede ser más lejano eh, lo que estoy haciendo en este momento, eh, digamos que la, la ternura con la que estoy tratando de pintar a Fer eh, de la obra de Bacon, pero, pero mmm, digamos que eh, la, la tranquilidad que siento de utilizar un soporte que claramente no está preparado para la pintura, eh, yo creo que me la otorga el, el, pues como el haber visto obras de Bacon sobre papel y sobre eh, lienzos crudos eh, y entender que, que pues se puede hacer muchísima pintura que no tiene que obedecer a los, como digamos que a, las, a los requisitos eh, impuestos por la historia de la pintura que eh, promueven la, la longevidad de la pintura. 
Entonces, para mí fundamental eso en, en la obra de, de Bacon. Pero sí, me encanta. Obvio, me encanta. Um, Rosalind says, yes, evil, Rosalind. evil Genius, True Crime Dog on Netflix. It's fascinating. Oh, but it's so hard. I mean, and the, I think you've never seen it, but I did. Yeah, I haven't, no. Yeah, but I don't want to spoil, but like the footage at the beginning of the... Tough? Yeah, the person that's going to the bank. Oh my God. Yeah, it was... Oof. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, with Danny we saw Prisoners. Oh, yeah. The other night. Yeah. And that... Well, that's that's fiction, so... Yeah, 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 but... But I it's mean, harsh. Yeah, that was tough. Any Again, anything that has to do with kids, for me... Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't. I can't deal with that. But that the first... I'd say the first couple of acts of that movie, because I'm guessing it's divided into, I would say, three acts, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, if you think about it. I mean, I don't want to... For no, anyone who has never, hasn't seen yeah. it. But I think it's three acts. I would say it's three acts. I was um, going to say maybe four. Um, Like the end, oh. I would... Put yeah, the end is two, like the maybe? final act. Yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, the beginning, it's like, oh my God. That's uh, very, that's very Silence of the Lambs, like vibes and, and uh, just, yeah, oof. Good movie. Um, so... I mean, it was a movie in the end. That's what I was kind of telling Danny, like, okay, this is a movie. Yeah, like, that's what I was at saying. At the beginning, because... I was like super... Like, oh, my God, this is so suspenseful and it's like thrilling and uh, you, you just you can barely look at the screen with some in, in some moments. Um, and in the end, you realize, OK, this is a movie. Yeah. But the thing is that, for example, with um, the docuseries that Rosalind said, well, it's yeah. it's reality. I mean, oh, yeah. Nothing... And it's like real footage. So yeah, no, those are always super hard. Yeah, those are always messed up. But but it's a good um docu series. It's a well made docu series. Um, Bryce Liston says, "Have you watched The Price of Everything? Documentary about the modern art world. Mm. Your favorite person is interviewed on it. Jerry mm -hmm. Saltz." Oh no, I haven't. <laughs> no. No, but he's I I hold no grudge. I mean. I've, I've, um, um, I would have, I would bear absolutely no impact in his life. And the same could be said for him in mine. So, you know, we are completely invisible and, you know, just, um, intrascendentes from, you know, our lives just don't meet at all. So, um, eh, Diego Joaquín dice, ¿y qué opinan de Antonio García Villarán? Yo no he visto tan, lo suficiente del, del canal de él. Eh, sé que sé que es súper crítico de, de las artes contemporáneas. Mm, pero, pero yo no, no he visto suficiente. Lo que pasa es que creo que ni Dani ni yo somos súper críticos de artes contemporáneas. O no, sea, no de... incluso nos encanta. Sí, o sea, a... nos gusta mucho. Estamos abiertos como a cualquier tipo sí, de... A mí, a mí, yo creo que... O sea, no, no quiero hablar por Dani, pero, pero pues conociéndola... O sea, si, si algo nos conmueve, nos conmueve y listo, sí, punto. Sin importar. Sí, no nos importa de dónde venga. Exacto. Entonces, eh, eh, para mí es muy como curioso cuando cuando se critica um, al arte contemporáneo como pues no sé como inferior no o como un todo como no no sé y no sé desde dónde se le critica o sea no no sé la verdad es que no no lo no lo conozco bien y, y solo me he visto por ahí un poco de videos me vi uno donde hablaba de Baldomero Resendi que me gustó mucho pero porque porque Baldomero Resendi pues me encanta eh, entonces, eh, pues simplemente era porque hablaba de Resendi, pues no hay como muchos sitios que hablen de Resendi, entonces se me hizo como, como bonito que hablara de Resendi. Pero, 
pero no, no sé, yo creo que no sé lo suficiente, pero creo que la, la, lo sigue muchísima gente de habla hispana, entonces, y creo que encuentran en él como, no sé, como una especie de educación en las artes, entonces, pues, no sé, diría, ojalá que sea buena, equilibrada, equilibrada, sería como la, lo, lo mejor que uno podría como pedirle a alguien que se, que se, pues que se propone a, a, a dar una especie de educación en las artes para otra gente. Pero no sé, no sé, no, no sé lo suficiente de él, de nuevo. Uh, so Todd says, It surprises me to hear a figurative representational oil painter say he's not sure how he feels about traditional classical beauty. No, I, I, I but I, I think, think about me and... I hope that that makes sense because and I, and I know that I'm painting like a super sweet version of Fed, but I, um, you know, I don't know. I don't, I am, I am certainly very torn when I have to, you know, for example, throughout history, if you had to favor somebody, who would you favor? Like what team you were on? So let's say, well, High Renaissance. I don't know if High Renaissance would, would be... But if you were to pick between early Titian, for example, and late Titian, I would always pick late Titian. Or if you were to pick... Um, um, uh, if you were to pick uh, between... Um, Ang and Delacroix, you know, David, Ang, and Delacroix, I would always pick Delacroix, always, 100%, like 100 out of 100 times, like no doubt in my mind, I would always, always pick Delacroix. Or if you were to pick, I don't know, um, you know, the, the, uh, the neoclassical, uh, uh, you know, turning into academy of the 19th century, or the people that, you know, kind of left that academy. For example, if you if you made me pick between uh, what is what, what was uh, Toulouse Lautrec's teacher uh, that he did the um, wait um, what's that painting called? That's at, that's at the uh, Musée d'Orsay. Oh, uh, Cochmon, Cochmon. So if you if you made me pick between Cochmon, which is an incredible painter, and Toulouse Lautrec, um, I would always pick Lautrec. Always, a hundred out of a hundred times. And Kochmon did an amazing painting. That that painting of Cain. Um, but I forget what it's called. Pon Cormon y Cain. A ver cómo se llama ese, esa, esa pintura. Because I forget what it's called. That's an incredible painting. That's an amazing painting. Um, he he was he was incredible. Um, um. But yeah, I, I think that I've always just favored the uh, reactionary part that that comes from studying you know in a classical um setting so yeah th that's but again that's me you know that's that would just be me i guess this one the flight of something or Cain flying Cain flying Cain flying before um jehovah's Je yeah i don't know how to pronounce jehovah that. In Espanol is Jehovah. Jehovah. Yeah. Jehovah's, Jehovah's curse. curse. Yeah. Okay. That, that painting is incredible. It's amazing. But yeah, but he was, Cormon was a Toulouse Lautrec's teacher. And Lautrec just left the academy. It was like he was fed up. And, um, and yeah, I don't know. I kind of always seem to favor whatever comes from, you know, not, not the schooling itself, but what comes from the schooling and the people that are actually questioning the schooling. Um, Gaby dice, la peor primera cita con película a la que me llevaron fue a ver una película de Godard en francés. Me Uf. quedé dormida y nunca lo volví a ver. <laughs> o sea, se salió sí. él del cine. Sí. Porque... Ah, pero tú, tú te acuerdas que nosotros vimos, fuimos a ver como algo medio cinearte... ¿A dónde fue que fuimos? ¿Como Hacienda? No, ¿a dónde no, fue que fuimos? en... Ay, el que queda en la 72, ¿cómo se llama? ¿En Gran Ahorrar? No, ¿Dónde? Mi, mi amor, eso dejó de llamarse Gran Ahorrar, como hace Pues en mi época, a ver, años. en mi época. Sí, en ese. ¿Ahí? No. ¿Por qué ahí es que muestran cine arte? No, ¿o no fue como en el de la 80 y picho? No. ¿Cómo se llama ese? ¿Cine Blava? ¿Cómo se llama Avenida eso? Avenida Chile se llama. 
Sí, pues sí, pero... Sí, ¿No fue en ese? No, no fue con... ¿No te acuerdas? No fue como en el de la ochenta y picho, el que queda como entre Atlantis y... ¿Cómo se llama ese sitio? No me ¿Cómo se llamaba ese teatro? O... ¿O acá? ¿O en Usaquén? Sí, creo que fue en el de Usaquén. Ah, ¿cómo se llama ese sitio de Usaquén que fuimos? ¿Cinema Paraíso? Ese, ese. Sí. Sí, creo que fuimos allá también. Pero y... no vimos una de Godard. No, no, eso sí ya, Gaby, eso ya está muy mamerto, qué mamera. Yo creo que yo también me hubiera dormido. Sí, no, qué poco. Pues mentira, ¿Todo o sea, bien? igual al que le guste Todo super... bien, sí, todo bien, acá no juzgamos, sí. pero qué foco. Sí. Eh... Eh... You keep your canvas and palette flat or is it on the easel? Asks um, Cacper Swat. <laughs> ¿Cómo, Dani? <laughs> Cacper Swat. Uh, Why do a... you... It's K-A-C-P-E-R... Yeah. Space S W A T. Cac per swat. Oh yeah. I yeah. said it good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, you you I did a it. weird pause. Yeah, that was a good. very again, dramatic pause. <laughs> yeah. Um so it's actually it's a piece of paper and it's at an angled uh table. So think of an animation table, like a drawing table. Um what angle? Like 45, 45? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, I was 45 say degree. 45 degree. Yeah. 45 degree angle. So, so yeah. So I am, uh, sometimes I tell Danny that I'm getting um, quite a bit of distortion and that's kind of frustrating, but, um, but I don't mind. Um, so Victor Barbero dice, no has usado calcita para desengrasar el óleo. Sabes que Velázquez la usaba mucho, Velázquez y sus contemporáneos. Calcita... Eh, carbonato de calcio no sé, espérame, busco de pronto se le dice distinto no sé no sé. Eh, calcita is a carbonate mineral de pronto sí es eh. carbonato de calcio porque si sí lo he usado es como un polvo blanco inerte que, se, que uno le puede mezclar la pintura y la, la vuelve como más absorbente uno solo puede usar hasta un porcentaje de, de eso. Sí, sí, es carbonato de calcio. Sí, 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 sí he usado, pero um, sí, o sea, honestamente, de pronto, o sea, de pronto en, en las circunstancias en las que la usé, pues no, no notaba yo la, la diferencia. Eh, pero, pero no, o sea, de pronto si usara, si volviera a usar. De, ahorita yo no creo que tuviera, tendría como mucho sentido con la pintura que estoy haciendo. O sea, con el tipo de pintura que estoy haciendo, no, no creo. Mm, pero, pero sí, sería curioso como volver a, a mezclar con la pintura a ver qué, mm. a ver qué, <ríe> a ver qué pasa. He says, who is Kaufman? Uh, so, Rubrek, maybe. Van Kaufman, yeah. Von Kaufman. Yeah, he's a very, very I'm gonna amazing... type it for you. If yeah, you want to check him out. Yeah, he's an amazing contemporary painter, like a uh, German painter. Maybe your favorite? Or I would say, Like yeah. in your top five? But no, contemporary painters, I would say yes. It's just that I feel kind of boring saying the same name over and over again, but I don't mind. He's he's amazing. But if it's your favorite, it's your favorite. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, eh, Briley... Moreno says, man, I really need to learn Spanish. Está muy difícil. <laughs> you should, dude. Duolingo. You, know, you have to honor that last oh, name. Can I say the name of the app? Well, we're not sponsored, but yeah, that's but, fine. Yeah. No, 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 of course we can. Um, Jesús de la Osa dice, ¿cómo lavas los pinceles? Eh, agua, agua y jabón. El o jabón sea, más barato. Sí, agua y jabón de mano. Nada, nada extraño, nada, nada glamoroso, desafortunadamente. ¿Glamuroso o glamoroso? Glamoroso. Glamuroso. Glamuroso. ¿Glamuroso? Sí. ¿Sí? De pronto es porque en inglés es porque, glamorous. No, pero, pues sí, no, y en español, pues es como un, un, eh, ¿cómo se dice? De Francia. 
un fre un no. extranjerismo pues sí, pero específicamente de Francia debe tener un no, nombre. ¿Francerismo? No, francerismo, no, para francés. A eh, ver, glamuroso o glamoroso, dice. El adjetivo derivado es glamuroso, que tiene glamour. Sí. Eh, su derivado glamoroso, ¿se prefiere glamuroso en español? Sí, bueno, no importa. Bueno, Cualquiera, sí. porque igual... Glamour es glamour. Sí, pues sí, porque es francés. ¿Cómo se dice? Glamour. Glamour. No, Supongo. yo dije... Elegance de Paris. <risa> uh... Oh, so Callum says, finished up the Franklin's holiday sketch. I'll paint it tomorrow after work. I'm ready la laughing at the sketch. Nice. Oh, so you did uh, follow our suggestion. Nice, very nice. Yeah, we would really like to see it when it's done. So, Danny, I What? don't know if I'm going to do much more to this. Okay. Because I really like it. There's a loose... I like it too. Yeah, there's a, a loose sort of quality to it that I really, really like that I didn't... that I wasn't expecting when I was first... Um, when I first wanted to paint it, because I thought, I thought that, um, that I was going to end up painting, um, a painting kind of similar from the, the one that we did yesterday and which I would have been fine. I mean, if it gave me an opportunity to paint Fed again, kind of like that, it, it I, I would have been okay with that. But, um, yeah, but this one, you know, what's kind of cool about this one that I'm pretty sure that if I would have told you, oh yeah, I painted Fed for like a second while she was just, you know, sleeping there or it just has a life. Oh fuck. It has, um, it has a feeling as if it was painted from life yeah. and not like trying, not, not as if you were trying to, um, to, uh, to lie to people, but it just kind of has that feeling. It has like a nice, yeah. um, very, sort of spontane spontaneous kind of quick um quickly painted you know very fresh uh feeling yeah so i i kind of like that i i wasn't i didn't think i was going to do that i i think initially my plan was going to just echo some of the things that we did yesterday but um and i think the culprit for not being for the painting being different was um was the fact that i couldn't hit my drawing at, at the beginning and i had to just start to paint And um, as soon as I started to paint, I was like, okay, this has to be looser. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I spent, I kind of blocked in the head and then I spent almost like the core of the painting session down here because yeah. I wanted that to be um, uh, kind of really, really relevant uh, during my painting session. So yeah, so I think priorities changed. And uh, while I was painting, from what I had um, planned, but it's cool. It's cool. It, I actually, you know, I actually really like it. It's a nice, you know, kind of sloping gesture. Uh, I think this, I couldn't give it like a ton of shape. It, it just feels kind of fluttery, but I think it's okay. I, mean, I love that part yeah? of the painting. Yeah. Yeah. I had to, um, what I was saying, because I wanted to push this value, this lighter value, I had to sacrifice a little bit of the values in the um, in the head um, just to make that white. Well, is th that's not really white because white in my hands turns into freaking gray, but um, just to make that pop a little bit more. So I had to subdue a lot of these uh, little lights, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. And then I took some, some, um, some choices here in, in terms of this, this kind of flow of light that comes uh, from the uh, window. I didn't, again, toned that down so that it wouldn't compete with that. But this little bit of light connects uh, and it flows through the hair, through the forehead. And I in did... the little strands of hair. Yeah, exactly. So That's those, those cool. strands of hair just go down and then kind of connects with the yeah. uh, nose. I actually toned this one down also, the one of the upper lip, because I thought it was a little too much light. And, uh, and then hopefully all that uh, traveling, all, all that traversal of light just leads you to, to these, um, again, ruffled uh, uh, bits of cloth uh, and, um, 
and then down the fold of of her um, her torso, which is really nice. I think that shape, you, you don't get to see the torso, but you feel the torso underneath, which is kind of cool. Um, and then her skirt just coming down. We needed that dark shape. Um, and then this doesn't matter. You know, it's one of those kind of Jacob Jacob's Ladder things where it just, you know, where if this is um, if this was painted harshly, it it just uh, frames her a lot. But you know, because it's kind of it kind of opens up, um, it just you know it gives you an idea that this is like the imagined world of of what's happening around here. So I kind of like that. Um, yeah, it's a it's a nice painting again, like a a sweet painting. I've <sighs> I love doing sweet paintings of Fed. I get a, a different um, stimulus when when I see Samu. Like my reaction is very different, and I hope it has nothing to do with the fact that he's my son and Fed is my daughter, or that he's older and Fed is younger. Um, uh, because I love them equally, exactly the same, exactly the same. So, um, but I don't know. I don't know. I've I've been very curious to see what happens when I push things with Fed. So it's not, I don't think I'm, I'm like super saccharine, you know, when I paint her, hopefully it's just love. It's very tender, but it doesn't feel like, oh my God, I need to, like a glass of water after this. Um, I don't think so. Um, but I, I'm, I'm curious if in the future I'm going to be able to just push with Fed. Because with Samu, I felt I've, I I have even when he was younger, like I pushed his portrait quite a bit. There's um, do you remember Danny? There was a there's a portrait of him in the uh, sketchbook that yeah. he's like super like caricature, um, like his cheeks feel like uh, chipmunk's cheeks. It's super nice. Like yeah. I, I love that painting, and it felt like Samu. Um, yeah, but with Fed, would you say that it's it's a little harder for me also? Yeah, yeah, yeah I would say that. Yeah, maybe because. I mean, they have, of course, super different personalities. Yeah. And, I mean, Samu is super sweet in his way. Yeah. But Fer is, like, all the time super, super sweet. Yeah. And with you, I mean, she loves you so, so much. They both do. They both no, do. No, of course, yeah, yeah, they yeah. do. But she, I was going to say that she's super, super sweet with you. So maybe, I mean, and, and she's your little girl. So, yeah, I hate you know. That's terrible. I try not to say that because it's it's like super again. It's like super cliche, and honestly, it's like for my for both my son and daughter, I think I've, I've treated them exactly the same. I, I mean, I've acknowledged that Fed, you know, is a woman, uh, and 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 Samu is very much you know a man. Um, but, um, but I also think that sometimes when you paint Samu, you are still super sweet. With yeah, his yeah. like face and everything. Like you still um see them as Yeah, maybe as kids. Like little kids. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah that that's probably it. Yeah, to be. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. But it's just it's just difficult. It's just very difficult. So I'm hoping that at some point I can just really feel like I can push things, like I can really start pushing things with them. Um, that would be super interesting. So, you know, but that's, uh, that's, uh, that's life. That's my, that's, uh, that can come, you know, a couple of years into the future. So for now, I think this is, this is nice. So if it's a nice painting, if it, um, ignited this conversation and it ended up, you know, with a nice painting, that's totally fine. Like I can, I can live with that. So anyways, um, that's going to be it for today. Like we said yesterday, we're not going to be here for a couple of days. Yeah. We're super sorry, but excited to uh, see you guys when we come back. Oh, I, th I thought you were going to say super um, happy to travel. We're also super happy to yeah. travel. Um, somebody's calling me like they're, they've been calling me like six times in a row. I don't know what it is. Maybe a call center. Again? Should I do it live? No, no maybe that's no, not cool. No, no, of course you don't. Yeah, should I? No, of Let's course not. Let's take a I'm... poll. No. Just say, ask me, tell me, tell me if I should. No, no, no I'm shouldn't. never, I'm never scared of a phone call. Nobody, nobody ever calls me for anything in, like important. No, but I mean, you are comfortable being live. I am, but you can't. Maybe assume... not the person. You're, yeah, yeah, you're you right. You're right. Only if it's people. my mother. Yeah, yeah, only if it's my mother. You're yeah. right. Totally right. Yeah. Okay, they're calling again. So I don't. I have no idea what this is yeah so you can i mean 
Danny, you should talk while I answer like off mic. Let's see. Let's try this. No, but I was going to say bye, everyone. Okay. So, okay. So we love you guys. Yeah. So we're going to have to cut it short because maybe this is an important call, but I wouldn't understand why. Yeah. It would be. And thank you everyone for joining us. Yeah. And we'll let you guys know when we'll be back. But, yeah. um, but we'll be super happy when we get back. Okay. Yeah. So thank you everyone for thank your you. companion. Bye.